What did I rate it? You rated it four stars. I rated well, it four it's a, stars it's, as it's well. It's a Lisa Kleipas book, so I really like this. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I definitely so rated it based off of, you know, before the last 40 pages. <laughs> Hi, We're not Bianca. talking about this book. This book is five no. stars. <laughs> this, book is a, this book is a five star read. Do you want to know why? It's like you're not going to catch me rating a, a Julianne Lindsay book less than five stars. It's not going to happen. And if you do see me rating a Julianne Lindsay Aliens. less than five stars, I'm an alien. I'm not. Yeah, no. <laughs> Hi, how are you? We missed you. We did miss you. Did you get a chance to Hi. read? <laughs> she did. I actually, so I follow Bianca on um, Goodreads now, so I know that she finished it. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Alicia. <Ooh>. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Shannon. Hey, Shannon. <laughs> Hi, Alicia. So we Alicia. got Alicia number. We got Alicia. Two Alicias. Alicia squared because A A, and then <laughs> Alicia W. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all can duke it out. Who's number one? <laughs> I read it. Yay. Ooh. Ooh. Hi, Julie. Julie. I was about to have a heart attack. <laughs> no. no. See, this is why we can't have a conversation before we start the live. <laughs> so we're even talking about this book and we're not. No, we're well, talking about another book. It brings up for last week. Last week it had been decided that this is the book that I would read. And so I don't know how many of you follow my Twitters. Um, I don't get on there very often. Now it's pretty much just book reading. But for hey. this book, I gave it four stars. Um, but honestly, if I was rating it as a whole, like from front to end, I probably would have rated it a, like a three or 3.5 because I feel like the last 40 pages were unnecessary, in my opinion. <laughs> Please don't help. Yes. <laughs> Hi, Hi, Christine. Christine. <laughs> Are you drinking tea? I'm drinking caramel Wine? apple cider. Oh, there you go. Okay. All right. Is it because hot? Or it's hot. It's in a mug. <laughs> okay. You better make sure that you have your AC on high then. Yeah. I'm just like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Alicia, my last name starts with A. a yeah. yeah. So, there you go. Do you enjoy Lisa Clapp? I do. I do enjoy Lisa Kleppis. There are some books that are better than others, but overall, I do enjoy Lisa Kleppis. I would read her again. I just hope that... <gasps> Congratulations, <laughs> Bianca. <laughs> she just followed me. And then I think you became my friend on Goodreads, too, which I was surprised that we weren't already friends, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was so wondering I would, about the last 40-page comment. Yeah, yeah, I would definitely read another book by her, but honestly, like, they had their happily ever after. Um, and then it it had 40 pages left and I'm like I don't understand where you can go from here and what she did with the last 40 pages I was like you literally could have just I no. felt like taking my book and just ripping out no. at a certain point being like it ends here because the rest of this is absolutely pointless oh, then again no. I was reading late at night um, and that's never a good idea to do, but I still feel like I would have had that opinion. I still read another book. I gave it four stars because I really loved the first, you know, 330 pages of it. But the, yeah, last 40, gonna say could have done without. <laughs> I'm learning it. Bianca's allergic to cinnamon. That's unfortunate. That's never good. I'm learning the social. <laughs> good, good, good. <laughs> yeah, you can try making your own cider because, ooh. Ooh, true. There are recipes. There's a recipe back here. Hold on. Let me see if it has cinnamon. I'm sure you could take cinnamon it does. out. It does have cinnamon, but I'm sure you could leave it out. You could okay. try it at least. As long as it doesn't have chai and it does have chai too. I didn't look too deeply into it, but I mean, cloves, you might have to concern with that because cloves and cinnamon are similar. Other than that, I think you're okay. I mean, cinnamon, I feel like just gives it a spice. So if you can do cloves, yeah. maybe. Maybe. You have to go on the Google and see what a good replacement is for cinnamon. I don't think you can replace cinnamon. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> I mean, We're going to figure this out for Bianca. <laughs> while you do that, I have a funny story. So I actually have a, um, a co-worker oh. used to work in a coffee shop. Um, and she was allergic to cinnamon. And we had a winter drink that was like heavy on the cinnamon. And nobody told me about her allergy. And as the supervisor, I was like, hey, everyone should try this drink. And she drank it because she wanted to know. But no one else would make it for her. 
Um, so after that, she was just, I was like, oh, so how'd you like it? And she goes, oh, it was really good. And she goes, well, my throat's a little scratchy, but that's okay. I'm allergic. And I'm going, um, what? You can't do that. That's like a lawsuit waiting to happen. So for the rest of the night, we would play Marco Polo. And if she didn't respond fast enough, um, it was very nervous, nerve wracking. Yes. Books with recipes. Ooh. Tea, apple cider. Nice. Tis the season for apple cider. It really LL is. Nutmeg, which is out in clove. Okay. Yeah. So I don't think, I don't think if you're allergic to cinnamon, I think they're all pretty close. I think yeah. nutmeg and allspice are pretty close to cinnamon. Well, yeah, with cloves, you'd still have that, you know, that kind spice. of spice. So even if you oh, left out, oh, nice. yes, that's the, I recipe. Think that's the recipe. You can make crock that, pot. yeah, you can make it in the crock pot. Yuppers, yuppers. Yeah, it says nutmeg, allspice, cloves. Let's see what other. It has six, six substitute Ooh. spices for cinnamon. So let us see. <sighs> nutmeg, allspice, cloves, mace. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, why, why? Mace, like the mace someone because they attack. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's that what is. it is. <laughs> not sure. Oh, you can't have them. You can't have the nutmeg or allspice. Yeah. Okay. But you can have cloves. I don't think cloves. And then you can also do ginger. Yeah, but ginger is not going to be a. Uh, I mean, it could be, but I. Ginger can be a very powerful flavor. Yeah, so it would be like really, you would have to do less, 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 less. I apologize. You. We tried. <laughs> <laughs> I started stalking everyone on social media. Hey, so. that's okay. We love it. We love the stalking. Because you stalk us and then we stalk you right back and it's like, you guys <laughs> like us. <laughs> Mace is a spice. Yeah, I just honestly, I've never seen it like in the spice aisle. But then again, I wasn't looking for it. So I feel like now <laughs> that you have this spe the spelling, I feel like I've seen it in the spice aisle. But I I don't think I've ever used it in a recipe or been required to. Mm -mm. Not me. Not oh, me. by the way, happy National Apple Day, everyone. Didn't plan that, but it, like, <laughs> I got an email from Fry's, and it was just like, celebrate oh, National wrong. Apple Day. And I'm going, shut the front door. Like, this is not happening right now. <laughs> I got so excited. I was like, I have to tell everybody. I know. As soon as you tweeted that, I was like, holy shit. Are you kidding me? Oh. <laughs> Similar in taste, not where they I'm come sorry, from. I'm looking at Jen's comment. <laughs> when it's I try awesome. to tag you on Twitter, I often accidentally tag Jen's and Ackle. I mean. It couldn't hurt. I mean. <laughs> hey, if we get Jen's and Ackles on this, then we can get that kitty couture going. We just have to get him excited about it. He could do a video with an Impala <laughs> and just somehow do the kitty couture with it. And I feel like it would go off without a hitch. I need to take a picture and post it to Insta. Yes, you do. I think I need to find you on Insta. That sounds like really scary, but I mean it in the nicest of way. Find you. I need you to <laughs> find you on Insta. <laughs> yes. So, apple cider slang. Loved Book it, one in it. the Cider Shop Mystery Series. What did we all think? Overall thoughts. I rated it five stars. Obviously. I, mean, <laughs> I rated it five stars. I will say this time, though, I wasn't immediately in love with Colton. Colton? I know. I, know. I was just like, I met him and this, so we met the sheriff and maybe it was just the narrator. I found him to be like a very older sounding gentleman. So I was just like, am I supposed to be waiting for someone new? Or are you it? So you I wasn't it. sure. <laughs> are you it? Are you what we're working with here? Oh my God, that's so funny. And so, yeah, I was, I think it was 123. I have like a comment that she was asking about like his name because she was like Colton Hayes or hold on. Nope, that's a, that's a singer. It's Colton, Colton Wise. Wise. <laughs> I have my cheat sheet, guys. I have my cheat sheet. Bianca's calling you out. She's like, I messaged you, Jen. Remember Monopoly? <laughs> oh, you did. Duh. Oh, my God, Bianca. I'm so sorry. I even shouted it out on here, too. I'm the worst. Oh, Alicia I'm loves sorry, the series. <laughs> it felt like fall. Oh, yes. It it's did. like, so it takes place the day after Thanksgiving right up until Christmas Eve. And I just love it so much. Five out of five stars. That's what I'd like to see. And then really, <laughs> it wasn't my favorite. <laughs> I mean, I feel like it's so hard to be like, okay, where's the hierarchy? Because I give every book she writes five stars. I'm like, okay, is there a hierarchy? There is. 
it's you know it's live and let try cafe <laughs> live and let okay. try up here <laughs> it's seaside cafe and kitty couture like they it depends on my mood for the day i feel like i could go for either one so they're tied for first and then i feel like this apple cider mystery would be the i guess second place um but yeah i just wasn't sure if i was supposed to like that guy and then then they had their cute little moments but they i don't feel like they had as much romance and that's i guess fine because I, I hear that's the not supposed to be cozy miss but i know <laughs> but i feel like with detective grady and then with was it great detective sheriff detective grady <laughs> I, I don't know now I'm getting confused and then with Jack Oliver I feel like from the beginning I was like oh man I love you so much and then with Colton Wise I was just like I like you I was finishing the book I want to know all his secrets because apparently he's taking phone calls and I need to know what's going on so I'm invested now but when I first started I felt like it was slightly slower going than the others but I mean, you got me with cats in that second one. So it was real hard to just like come into this one. She got the kittens in there. I was excited. So yeah, they're saying lots of similarities between uh, this series and the Seaside Cafe. Mm -hmm. um, very atmospheric read. It's honestly, it's perfect for this time of year. It really yes. is. It's really getting me into, we got to thank you for the name, the cheat sheet. Yeah. Uh, love Granny Smythe too. She's fantastic. If you haven't, I was so away. worried about her. <laughs> There's names. I'm afraid to read the Harlequin Intrigue. Don't be afraid. The yeah. Harlequins are really good. They're really good. It's a lot of fun, but it took me a while to get into. Yeah. I haven't read many cozy, so I'm comparing it to Kitty the Couture. Kitty Couture, yeah. I feel like I, I wonder, which one did she write first? I think it's Kitty, right? Kitty Couture was first, and then this one? Yes. yes. This was 2019, if I remember the end of the audiobook. Yeah. I, I like Kitty reading Couture this one so too. much better than the audiobook. I agree. Oh, the narrator for that. this the narrator for this audiobook, it took a while because um I just I don't think she was as good, unfortunately. So they read had the a next cliff, one. Got it. They had a cliffhanger moment where yes. Colton was gonna say something to her. Yes, and then Hank. Oh Hank. I, I need Hank. Hank to just fly off a cliff. I think if I even put on Kitty here. Kitty Couture first, then nope. Seaside. Will Seaside only be second place or take over first place? Oh, that'll be a top. That is dealer's <laughs> choice. <laughs> That's dealer's choice. It's I know. really like, hard to say. You need you need to let us know about that. <laughs> because I read Seaside Cafe and then Kitty Couture. But, okay, I'm the crazy cat lady. So anything kitty related, I feel like, is going to have a special place in my heart. And I also kind of loved it because this one we were reading together for the first time. Whereas with the Seaside, you kind of already knew everything <laughs> yeah so i don't know if i oh gosh i don't know speaking of audio i need to need i need all of how to listen to audio other than overdrive because my libraries are lame uh, oh yeah you need something other than overdrive um what is it Lib Lib libro what are the things there's a lot of them we discussed them last week scrib scrib was one i think we discussed that they were on scrib yes <laughs> No real romance to build up one minute they didn't like each other and the next they did. No build up. That's true. It seemed like very um But that's cozy mystery, right? Nicole, you read more than me, so I'm just going based off of what you said. I feel like with the um Seaside Cafe it was definitely, you know, better transition, but with this one it's it's um it's definitely does it does seem like next day, especially if you're listening to the audiobook just because it doesn't doesn't take as long mm -hmm. as if you were physically reading it. Who is calling? Does he have another job offer? Did he have intel out on the heroin? Loved Granny. Yeah. Granny was one of the best. <gasps> Kitty's I rate Kitty over here. this one. Oh, thing. Hank. Hank yeah. is honestly. I was I worried about Jake for a while. Oh, um, it's actually Smythe. Smythe. Granny Smythe. Uh, I don't like Hank. He needed to go. Yeah, seriously. He was a jerk. <laughs> In comparison to Kitty Couture, I imagine no one is Team Hank. <laughs> I will say I was really nervous for um, Jake. Like, immediately, like, when I wrote him on my list, I said, Jake the Banker third wheel because I was like if he becomes like the chase of this series, I'm going to be upset, but I feel like Hank is going to end up being Hank the third wheel. Dot. No. Hank went to Dot. They had a date. What are you talking about? Or not Hank, Jake. Jake. No, no, no. But when I first met him, that's what I assumed was oh. going to happen. And so I was really nervous. But then. LibriVox is probably a no. It's usually volunteers. Oh. They're writing public domain stuff. Oh, okay. That's interesting. I've never actually even heard of that. Is that I a comedian side? 
probably. Do we not have access to that? Because now I need I bought, to feel like I investigated. Sorry. Bought Seaside one. Okay. <laughs> and the geek one. So <laughs> do we. Too. <laughs> I was most like, I have them here. Most cozies I've read have built up. Yeah, I feel like with, if you read the Seaside Cafe series and then also with the Kitty Couture, the build up for the relationship is better because, yeah, they did not like each other at all, like in the beginning. Uh, more mystery, not as much time for building romance. Jake yeah. and Dot. Yes, Jake and Dot. I like those two. Jake. And they were talking, like, right when we first met Jake, Jake she, like, he was trying to talk to Dot. He wasn't even trying to talk to... Okay, Lenny, she had so mentioned... I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> she had mentioned Jake as, like, a friend that she was going to go visit at the bank and try and get away in with. And I was like, don't go flirting with him and make him think that you're available because you are promised to Sheriff Colton, whether you know it or not. <laughs> whether you are, whether you agree or not. So yeah, Jake and Dot, I have no problem with them. <laughs> yes. Libra Vox is for everyone. It's like <gasps> Project Gutenberg for audio. Hmm, Project Gutenberg. I'm gonna have to look into these things. I'm very just not with the times. So I'm gonna be real <laughs> with you guys. I know none of the things. You're <laughs> like, I know nothing. But yeah, <laughs> I love Dot too. She's like, she was honestly, wonderful. like she's a great best friend. Even when, um, you know, when Winnie was, you know, feeling out about her breakup with Hank and um, she was, even Winnie was saying like, she wasn't that great of a friend during her mm -hmm. dating with Hank. And Dot was like, you know, it's okay. It's like, you don't realize you're in a hole until you climb out of it. I loved her so much. Yes. What is Project Gutenberg? I have no idea. <laughs> I want to feel like, because how she said it was supposed to be for audiobooks. I wonder if Project Gutenberg is just like, physical books or ebooks available just for free for anyone to read. So I'm assuming that is what it is, but Shannon, I'm correct me because I'm sure I'm wrong. I'm if I had to pick that. a favorite person in here though, aside from um, Kenny Rogers and Dolly, it would definitely be Granny Smythe because she was feisty and I loved her. Yes, I love Granny. And she had her it's shotgun, Bessie. Bessie or Bessie. Bessie, mm -hmm. yep. Mm -hmm. Loved it. And then Libro. Box. Yeah, I was really worried when. Um, sorry, I'm late. That is okay. It's okay. You're here though. <laughs> you're here now. Dot we haven't talked about things yet. Uh, dot spoiler so, things. Dot so needs a series. Yeah, I she totally does. Agree. Project is a public domain, so anything doesn't have a copyright. Ooh. Therefore, is available for anyone to distribute. Lots of classics. Got it. Yes. I made things right with words. I'm just going to go ahead and drink because that was really improper English. <laughs> Mama got herself a candle. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Woohoo. Loved her feistiness. Yeah. She was feisty. Oh, my gosh. When she got hit by a car, the ATV, at first, like, there's a lot of, like, yellow no or red in my book just being like, this can't be happening. Why are you doing this to me, Julianne Lindsay? That's not okay. When did you cry, Bianca? I need to know now. Probably when Granny was in trouble. I cried too. I'm like, you better not hurt Granny. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, if she doesn't wake up at the end of this, I'm not going to be okay. <laughs> Forgot to add Bessie to the character. I didn't list. add her either. That's I added Oscar. Awesome. Too bad we don't know the author. <laughs> uh, Miss Julie. Julie <laughs> when did everybody too. cry? When Granny was in trouble. Was it just when Granny was in trouble? I did um, on one of mine when they were explaining how she got Kenny Rogers and Dolly. Um, I was literally like, someone's chopping onions nearby and they need to stop. Because they were like, the mom died. Two of the kittens died. Like, these two barely survived. And I'm just like, this is not okay. Like, why? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my okay. gosh. Yes. The whole liar oh. foot. That. When I first read that, because this is a reread for me, but when I first read that scene, I was like, y'all, my heart is pounding. <laughs> my heart is racing. I'm like, yeah. oh my God, she's going to light a fire circle around her house and she's going to die. <laughs> he's like, keep an eye on her. And she's like, what is he doing? I was like, he's going to light you on fire. That's what he's going to do. But being on the outside and having just read, um, was it marked by the marshal or the fire guy, the arson? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Because we had just read that, and I remember that he did the little circle thing around the thing. I was like, uh-oh, that's not good. 
Penny Rogers and Dolly were the perfect names. Honestly, when she was like coming, when I think Dot was coming up with names and she's like Pumpkin Spice. And I was like, okay, now I need two orange cats and I need to name them Pumpkin and Spice. I know. <laughs> I was really hoping they'd rename them, but then I was like, no, all right, I'll, I'll, I'll live with it. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> yeah, Jen doesn't care about Granny. She just cares about the cats. <laughs> I didn't even cry when Dobby died in Harry Potter, okay? I get more emotional watching the movies and watching Hedwood get, like, shot down than I do, like, any of the characters. I'm dead inside <laughs> unless if it's animals, okay, guys? <laughs> Hi, Sarah. How are you? Hi. Death of Mama Cat broke my heart. <laughs> yeah, see? <laughs> this was more intense. It was a lot of, like, oh, my goodness moments. Like, whew, mm -hmm. my heart was racing. Yeah. I kept switching my positions while reading my nervous habit. Yeah, I, same thing. I couldn't sit still. I was like, okay, I got to keep doing something because if I'm listening to this, it was, yeah, very intense. And then, you know, you know, Granny brought her Bessie out and she's, you know, like, listen, I need to protect my granddaughter. I'm just like, yeah, Granny! <laughs> well, at first from the gunshot went like, off. The, <laughs> the, so. the ATV, like, goes after her. I'm just like, run, Granny! <laughs> Zigzag! Zigzag! Save yourself! <laughs> I didn't realize how close she was to the ATV, but I know, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> uh, Jen's going on about the cats, and I'm like, yeah, I know, but Granny, like, come on. <laughs> Sorry, friend. Well, at the end, literally, one of my posts, and I hope it's not similar that everyone's finished, but, like, when she's there and the cats are, like, she's all tied up and the cats, like, come in and she's like, oh, no, I wish I could shoo them away. And I was like, whatever you have to do, you protect those cats over your own life. <laughs> <laughs> and then when Dolly went, like, like, climbed on the guy, I was like, that is why you protect the cat, because then they will save you. <laughs> Oh my god, that is so funny. Sorry. I mean, <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm so like freaking Dolly like saved the saved the day. Freaking Dolly. I love it. <laughs> She's a feisty little kitten. I love it. She was. <laughs> oh my gosh. Did anyone peg the killer? Did anyone guess who the killer was? I did not. I did. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I was impressed with myself. I had two suspects, um, and one of them I was pretty sure. Oh, hold on. This is my first Julianne Lindsay. This is a cozy. Ooh. I can't imagine how I'm erect him. Mm, you're going to love it. suspenses are really good. So I mean, excited. I've only read the first four, so I don't know about the rest of them, but if they're anything like those, I'm going to love them. <laughs> um, yeah, I've read the Defense, Fortress Defense, so. Have you I, read all of them or just the first two? The first two. Deli okay, Cover Up and Missing in the Mountain. You're going to wait for the rest of them? <laughs> Maybe. You're like, possibly. Kittens, they can do anything. They really can. When she was describing the, the <laughs> razor claws. I showed up for the tasting. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just like, I love how, this is what I love about when Julianne Lindsay writes the heroes or the police officers. They're not stupid cops. They're not nope. like just waiting around for the sleuth to uh, figure, figure it out, it just out. kind of follow along. Mm -hmm. Colton Wise was a step ahead of her like every time. So when she went oh, to the yeah. doctor, he was already there. He was there. already there. I when love she was, that. <laughs> when she was on her way to meet the banker, he was calling her and be like, hey, like, <laughs> don't. <laughs> don't go. So Julie didn't guess the killer either. I started Federal Agent Under Fire. Yay! I love it. I was suspicious of the killer, but I thought it actually might have been Jake. <laughs> I <laughs> oh, that's so funny. She guessed it. Awesome. Love it. Did guess the killer. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cats do not like me. <laughs> oh no. You just oh. haven't met the right one, maybe. Have but yeah, <laughs> I will say when Jack Ryan was a little kitten, because he was the first one we ever got, like, I didn't realize how sharp a cat's claws were until I had a kitten. Mm -hmm. Them things are sharp. When she calls them razor blades, they are razor blades. <laughs> when he pulls over and calls her Mrs. Jones. Oh, my God. I was <laughs> she's like, she's dying my laughing. The registration. <laughs> <laughs> she's trying to play it off. <laughs> Like, why are you pulling me over, sir? <laughs> I was dying laughing. It was, <laughs> was so like, funny. Don't even. I was like, so I'm trying to pull the wool over his eyes. She's just trying to play it off. Like, oh, it's fancy meeting you here. 
<laughs> I will say that the banker was my second suspect. The first one, and there nothing ever came out of this, but in the very beginning, um, she was talking about having people go on tours. And so they were like, oh, yeah, you guys can stay behind with Winnie. And I was like, one of you alls is going to die. Like, whoever's with Winnie is going to die. Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> and then so that guy that had, like, the freeloader on all the samples who was just like, chugging one after the other I was like it's gonna be you you're gonna die and then when he didn't because I, I didn't read the back of the book so I had no clue so as soon as he didn't die I was like you're probably the killer then like there's no you're either the victim or you're gonna be the killer so that didn't pan out because we never met him again but when they started talking about the um oh gosh what's her name Nadine what's her last name Cooper Cooper, mm -hmm. Cooper I got it right before I could even find her. So when Nadine Cooper was talking about like it could possibly be her son, I was like, was the son the freeloader on the samples? Maybe. <laughs> so that's why I had two of them. So I think Mr. Sherman was like middle aged. I think so. Yeah. I thought it was Jake at first, guessed uh, it when he went for the tasting at Granny's. So yeah. I thought it wasn't <laughs> just me. I thought it was Jake. Oh, it's so funny. We're actually trying to help out the nemeses. Yes, I just, I loved that. I just love that whole situation where it's just like, yeah, they weren't friends, but they are still a part of this community. So that kind of made them like family. And they, no yeah. matter what, like if you didn't like agree on something, you know, they still, when tragedy struck, they still came together and helped out. Like that oh, whole yeah. scene at the end where, you know, granny was coming home and they wanted to get mm -hmm. everything ready. And even for the Christmas, you know, when she had all this like volunteers for the Christmas, oh, yeah. Christmas at the orchard, I was like, oh, guys, I love I'm this. I live in that kind of a town. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know my neighbors. <laughs> Christine was suspicious of Jake. Oh, I thought he was going to okay. throw out her proposal for the farm because he was the killer. Oh, I thought he was going to do something with the proposal as well, but that uh, that didn't pan out for me. <laughs> then realized it was when he went to the tasting. Yeah. Honestly, I didn't even, I don't even think I, even reading it this time, I don't think I remembered it was Mr. Sherman until <laughs> like right as she was going to meet him. I was just like, oh yeah, it was Mr. Sherman. <laughs> well, there was a line. In my mind, you guys. Oh my God. <laughs> there was a line by the, I think it was the vet. Yeah, there's, there's more puns that I underlined. <laughs> Latasha um, saying, like, I love her quote on that, too. I live in a small town, and it's true. Like, that kind of, you know, intense, you know, close-knit group where you protect one another at, like, like nobody's business. Yeah, it was page 120. They were talking, as long as the banker will allow it. And I was like, the banker did it. The banker did it. In I'm the suspicious. library with the candlestick. Sorry. I'm suspicious of everyone now. <laughs> yeah, honestly, like, no, one's, that's no one's innocent. Mysteries. No one's innocent. I thought it was Hank. Oh, yeah, yeah. I there were a lot of times. Go ahead. I didn't think it was Hank. I just, I just, I don't know. I just didn't, I wasn't actively thinking like, oh, it's this person or it's this person. I don't know why I wasn't. I just got a gut feeling this time. And I don't normally get those because I'm just usually guessing until the end. Because, yeah, there was a lot of people that they kept talking about. But it was always Mr. Sherman was there when something happened. And I was like, what if he did something beforehand? Like, would he have had the time? So he was always like a suspicion in mm -hmm. the back of my mind. But he was like the only one that was like hardcore suspect for me. So although, was there a scene where they set up an event and no one showed? Did I misread that? Because everyone was so supportive about the net. It was, I don't know if it was an event, but was it like the next day they were, they had shut it down for the cop investigation and it was the mm -hmm. day after where I the think they were after. open. Right, but they but didn't see anybody. There. Nobody came. They only had like yeah. one person asking for directions, but it wasn't like an event or anything. It was just like a normal business normal day. day. But they weren't normally open after Thanksgiving, so that was possibly why. <laughs> Makes you feel like being home. Yeah. Oh. I wanna. I wanna go to Let's Boston go Valley, please. The... Wattpad cozy mystery Halloween books. Um, are you asking for recommendations? Because I don't oh really read a whole lot of Wattpad. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. But hi, Karen. Thanks. Hi. <laughs> I was like, I don't know what that is. <laughs> Hank, Wattpad, it's kind of like fan fiction stuff. Oh. Um, or people, I, I mostly when I did read um, Wattpad, it was to read fan fiction. But I know a lot of people put like their original work on there too. Mm. 
Hank definitely could have done it. Honestly, I wouldn't put anything past Hank because he is a freaking. Well, and because he lied at one point and just wasn't open about the fact that he knew the oil company or that he was working for him. So, yeah, I think that well, was. When he was lying about, you know, what he was actually doing in town. Like he was, yeah. you know, she was mad at him for basically not telling her about the job opportunity of the reason why they broke up. And then he goes again and like not. And she even said like. I don't like surprises like that. I need you to be honest with me, blah, blah, blah. And then he still doesn't freaking tell her. I'm like, no, you're too, get the, get out of here. Get I don't even. Here. <laughs> Alicia, I stopped going to <laughs> 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 oh. Oh, Not just a regular day, but no one showed me. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. well, <laughs> I thought it was. the first time. This may be the for, first and only time that we help Shannon out with something. I'm just going to take a moment for us. Take a moment. Because Shannon, you're write, our superhero. I, but I just I have to write it down. For you. Hold on. Because I'm going to Mark the date. This. The time is 6.30 <laughs> Arizona time. <laughs> I thought it was Hank until he said he worked for a different oil company. It um, wouldn't have benefited him. Yeah, that's true, true. true. I was that nervous for that. I thought. Yeah. Hank was sneaky. Hank is like, he's so backstabby, but also it's just like, I honestly don't, he's one of those people where I honestly don't think he was going to propose to her, but the, since it blew up in his face and she broke up with him, he just turns it around to like, oh, well, I was going to propose to you and offer to buy a house and move mm -hmm. in. I'm just like, you're such a freaking liar. No, you weren't. No, <laughs> you freaking weren't. That is exactly <laughs> how he is. Like, you know, <laughs> slimy. Yes, yes. For sure. I think Hank is worth worse than Chase. If we're gonna go, we're gonna compare the series. Let's oh, just well, be honest. 100%. I, I actually Chase like over. Chase sometimes. <laughs> Hank, I hate him all the time. <laughs> <laughs> it was a rough week. Thank all you. right, we'll Shannon, let it pass. <laughs> Shannon, you're currently reading 33 books, so I I don't put it past yeah. you. It's fine. <laughs> 33, I need to watch a video. I'm sure you have it on how you do your like bullets for what you're reading. Cause I always see your TBR and how you're like marking things off. And I'm like, I need to know the science behind it. I'm sure it's like fascinating. So I hope there's a video on it. Cause I need to find it. The science. <laughs> cause I always look at them. I'm like, Oh, the pretty colors she's reading. But mm -hmm. no, I, I, I would like to, to know, no. To know, no. Which I'm sure there's a video. I just need to start searching and, you know, create a YouTube account and all the things. <laughs> I like Chase sometimes, especially in the last. Yeah, like sometimes yeah. I like Chase. Like Hank, I don't like him like at all. <laughs> Hank has got to go. <laughs> got to go. I only read like four or five at a time. Yeah, I think I'm I'm reading like four books right now. I can barely well, do now, two at a time right now. Oof. Three but because I finished this one. I've got to book it through a bunch of them because next Tuesday, like my TBR is going to blow up and they all have to be read within like a very short time frame. Why? Because I love them all and I need to know the answers. So one of them is the crazy bromance. Um, oh, so yeah, the third yeah. one. And uh, uh, I'm going to read that one. And then it, you've got the Wicked Kingdom by Carrie Meliscalco. Um, and that one sounds freaking amazing. So I've got to read that one. And then Julianne Lindsay's book, uh, Dangerous Knowledge, comes out. But we have that already scheduled for December. So that one I can sort of wait on. Unless right. if I decide to just kind of like book it through all of them, which may happen. You should do a video, Shannon. Hank oh, needs yeah. to go. Yes. Everyone needs, like, everyone agrees. Hank needs to go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm right Everybody. there with you. Used to, yeah, different genres is definitely the way to go because otherwise you'd just be like, it's just one hodgepodge of stuff, plots, and characters in your brain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I plot all of you can read more than one or two books at a time. <laughs> yeah. Seriously, you guys. Oh, no. Oh, I did no. see that, Bianca, that you rated it a three, and I was like, oh, no. What did you not oh, love about it? No. <laughs> Why didn't you love it? <laughs> I mean, everyone can have their own opinion. <laughs> yeah, it's a few too many for me. I need to finish some. <laughs> you were I so good. So. You were down at, like, 21. Well, that was actually towards the end of September, so never mind. That was a while ago. <laughs> <laughs> I take it back. You've had plenty Fire. of time to start some things. <laughs> I changed my mind, Gina. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm on the second. I had issues with the first, but way more issues with the second. Oh, oh no. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Yeah, it's a bummer when, like, the second book disappoints you. Jack Ryan sighting. Woo -woo. 
Hey, hey, hey. I enjoy bromance series, but some of the characters infuriated me at f or irritated. I thought infuriated. <laughs> irritated me at first. There he goes. And he's off. <laughs> so Thanks for stalking me. You're welcome. <laughs> I, stalk, I stalk all of you. <laughs> so funny. Uh, okay, let's go through post it, see what we got here. <clears throat> <laughs> uh, true, true. I'll allow it. Don't yeah. worry, Shannon. Jake, we there's a Jake in this yeah. book, so to type that out first, 100 percent understandable. <laughs> <laughs> he He's just what when I held him up, he was really hot. So I was like, I'm gonna put you down. I'm gonna now. put you <laughs> down now. Cool down. <laughs> it's not that hot in here, so that's fine. But it's fine. <laughs> Hi, Jack Bryan. <laughs> so funny. He's okay, yeah. Hold on. <laughs> I love how like the um the hiking club or whatever is called Soul Sisters. Like Soul. That's your club. first post-it. Goodness gracious! The first post-it that we haven't talked about already. All right. Okay. <laughs> how Come on, this is your how many, how many live streams have we done? <laughs> my first or second? I think we're pretty new to the news. <laughs> I loved, I love all of like the, um, like the business names in here. Like there was one, like it was like a cinnamon bun shop, but also like a tanning place and it was called yeah. Sunny Buns. And I'm like, oh my, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love so much. I was dying. I'm Denver. in my own bedroom. <laughs> yeah, I don't have a I fancy bad library the office. Farmer. Yes, I do. the farmer who was like everyone was after him, but he was really trying to just protect the town. He was the real hero. <laughs> yeah. He was, and nobody knew, and he like went after all of his savings to just buy everything up. Oh, Sunny buns. Oh my god. Well, and I want to know kind of why, and I know we never got this answer. We may never get the answer, but um, with Nadine, like, what was her big issue with him tanning? Like, I didn't. Why was she upset about that? <laughs> uh, she was just she was on her, her like high horse, saying all the chemicals okay. and stuff were bad. Oh, that's oh yeah yeah yeah. Never mind. My bad. Yeah. I'm just gonna go sit over here and think about what I've read. <laughs> How long have how long have y'all had the those going? Before um, I think we started April, March, April. I'd have to come back and look. <laughs> I think it was April because I mean I can look up your YouTube on my phone here in a second, but um, I want to say April because we did the daughter of <laughs> Smoke and Bone first, mm -hmm. and then we did um, a call for kelp. That was in May. Yes. Or did we do Daughter Smoke and Bone afterwards? I'm just July was Twilight. Up. June was the Gina Showalter. What else did we do in May? I'm just going to look it up because I honestly don't remember. Y'all <laughs> tested my memory and I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> Shannon, we need you. Although Shannon was only with us since Eclipse, but it's okay. <laughs> I don't think you've uh, missed. I'm gonna go through the comments as you're doing that. Um, well, you can look it up because I can put the comments on the screen, and you can't. So, <laughs> study buttons. That hey, was it. Hey, rude. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is. It, it is my reading room. room. If you okay, I don't know how well this is gonna work, but next to me, I've got my little bookshelf. Slowly, <laughs> just turning. <laughs> I was like, it goes down a little bit. Just curious, but what books I missed. That's, yeah, it's a bit of an odd thing to have an opinion on with the tanning. Yeah, she's very Cooper was just weird. Very small <laughs> portion of my books. I've got like 17 different okay, places in so my our room. First, <laughs> our first live stream was actually Siege and Storm. Oh, yeah, we did all of the Grishaverse ones. <laughs> which was March 25th. We've been doing this since March. Uh, wouldn't we have done the first book? We did a we did a recording of that when we were doing Shadow um, and Bone. That's right, Shadow and Bone. That's yeah. before we started doing the live streams. We didn't do we didn't do Shadow and Bone live, but I still I still uploaded that. We did. I remember did seeing Midnight do? Sun, but I hadn't finished yet. Yeah, we did Midnight Sun in August. Oh god, those are that was a good month, July. Oh my goodness, rereading all the Twilight books brought back like 
all the twilight. So we hours. did we did the entire Grishaverse. So we did Shadow and Bone, Siege and Storm, Ru Ruin and Rising. We did Six of Crows, Crooked Kingdom, King of Scars. Uh, we did the ebooks, the Demon of the Wood, In the Wood, and Language of Thorns. Yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. We did the Daughter of Smoke and Bone series. We did um, Gina Showalter, The Lords of the Underworld. Did we do a call for Kel? Um, we we, we did. Kel. No, we did. Yeah, we okay. did. We did that after um, Daughter of Smoke and Bone. <laughs> Got it. Okay. I wish I knew. I think it was Marches for the live shows. Yeah. Look at Shannon. She knows us so well. She knows. <laughs> I... I bought Twilight, saw your live stream, but didn't get to it. Sorry, I missed you. Something to go back for. Totally. Oh fine. yeah. It's okay. If you ever need someone to reread them with, I feel like I would I feel like I would reread them before I would rewatch them. So that was when I found your channel, Nicole. The oh, the Midnight Sun one. Yeah. Oh, I July love July, August was uh. It was. It was. <laughs> it really was. <laughs> you do have a ton of live streams this year. Yes. Woo! Yeah. Especially because last year I think we only did the one. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Because I we failed to did. keep coming over to your house, but you know, COVID, it makes it the lives. I didn't know the lives were such a amazing okay. option. <laughs> I guess I'm a stalker too. I you know that. what? We'll all stalk each other and we'll be called the Stalker Book Club of Julianne Lindsay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because I'm pretty sure that that's going to encompass a lot of our 100%. 100%. How many. That's a read -along book, book clubs can Lauren do at once. What about readathons? How do you juggle it all? Okay, so um, well, this book club that we're doing here is basically what I have all of my you know focus on right now. I dab into some other book clubs um, like Deja's New to Swoon. That's pretty new though. And then when we had our um, in real life book club, we did that too. That was every, every other, other week. every other week. So you can spread that one out. Yeah, and then for the readathons, I don't honestly, too many of them. I don't know how I'm you do doing, it. I'm doing four this month, and honestly, it's just about um, making books work for multiple challenges. <laughs> 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 so I'm like one book for like like for each of the readathons. So it's just like so right now I'm doing Black a uh Gothtober, and Screamathon, and also Audible Escape to the End. And honestly, one book is for a prompt for each of the readathons. So like you're I just kind of knock out prompts and stuff like that. I'm not that talented. <laughs> it it read. does take, it takes spreadsheets and highlighting and uh, yeah, this is what I, I read these to. two books since the last time I saw you and that was it. I'm not very talented. Nicole, how many of you read? 17? No. 24? <laughs> 50? I only read four <laughs> books last week, y'all. Yeah, only read four <laughs> books last week. Only. I only read four books last week. I read 10 books the week before that, so that one's Jesus. better. The Stalking Sluice can be the name for of our book club. That would be cute. Mm -hmm. That would be <gasps> super cute. Oh, my God. I love it so much. Sorry. I just got I super tried to excited. pick just one readathon and one buddy read. Oh, yeah. I'm currently doing three buddy reads right now, too. So yeah, I don't. Funny. I mean, buddy reads are good because I feel like they keep you they it's keep you um, on track. Yeah, because you're I only also, reading a certain section. You're only reading like so many chapters a day, so it's not like you're devoting your entire time to that book. So, but I get always behind. Like I have to stick to one book, and the fact that I have to start and stop, I think that that makes it the longest. But when I do get a couple buddy reads going, I do feel like that's when I can have up to four books that I'm reading at once. But that that's mm -hmm. a struggle for me. I can't do more than four. Yeah, it does take coordination. Yes, she's amazing. Even with it. books for multiple challenges, I still add too many readathons at once. It's crazy. Yes, <laughs> I just like because honestly, I was just like on Twitter, I put a tweet out there. I was like, okay, tell me every single readathon that's happening in October, and there was like ten, and I'm just like, oh my god, I I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I was like seriously contemplating for a second doing all 10. I'm like, girl, you nuts. You are crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Two books in a week. If you're reading, you're winning. I mean, it's fantastic. Well, and I have a goal to read physically for 20 minutes a day. So that does not include an audio book. Um, so that's what this was. So I only saved a little bit of time for it. And then I was really mad when I couldn't read. So that's my other problem. Like there was no audio book option for this. And I also struggled because mm. I the main character um i have a friend whose husband's name is the same as the main character 
and that bothered me. Um, oh, so, so there funny. was that. <laughs> I try to I, I try to participate it. in a lot of readathons. I know. I decided to focus impressive. on readathons that are very flexible and open versus um, the ones that are more rigid. Yes, that's true. So what's the I difference? Mean, Tell me the difference then. Can you like what there are flexible options? What does that mean? Like if you don't finish it, they don't kill you or <laughs> Well, readathons <laughs> that that are means. very flexible where like, you don't like, you know, where you don't have to do all the challenges. There are some uh readathons that have um like bingo boards where you can choose to get blackout or you can get one row or things like that. But there are certain readathons that are very hardcore where they have challenges uh, and prompts and something like Instagram posts every day and Twitter posts every day. And I'm just I like, y'all like, no. Just the reading ones. <laughs> All right, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll do a few readathons. I'll, I'll figure out something for November possibly. Although I did say I'd create an, uh, YouTubes and I still haven't done that. I'm sorry, guys. Sorry, you hate the know. you hate the pressure. You, people are pressuring the you pressure. during your buddy reads. Tell tell them to stop. I'm very <laughs> laid back. I'm very laid back when I do buddy reads. I'm like, oh, you're a day behind. Oh, you're a couple days behind. Okay, I'll read when you read. Let me know. Let, let me know. Thank you, Shannon. You're fantastic. You have skills you too. Skills. <laughs> I don't know how you guys all do it. <laughs> when you pull out of the fun, like I'm. Yeah. I'm buddy reading with Olivia over at Olivia's Catastrophe. If you're not following her, you need to. She is fan fucking tastic. I love her so much. And she's doing university right now. So she's like, you know, it's like I can I'll read when I can. I'm like, girl, you set the pace then. Like you read the section and then when I see that you boxed about it, I'll read the section. Like don't stress yourself because there it is very stressful when you see people just going going to town on Voxer like the reading section after section and you're kind of being left in the dust. Mm. You're like you set the pace and I will follow after you. I want someone to have a channel that just has everyone's announcement videos. That would be helpful. <laughs> <laughs> yes. One book for multiple prompts. That's how you do it. Yes. All right. I'll I'll work on this. Some readathons want you to read books in a certain order or um, that you can't use one book. Oh yeah. Some readathons have that. And I'm just like, nope, you're not the readathon for me. <laughs> 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 if I can't double up on prompts, I'm not doing this readathon. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know what it is. Mail. It was my brother's name. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. You're like, I'm not reading that. <laughs> Anytime I see a book and it's got like my dad's name in there, I'm like, nope, no, you're gone. No. <laughs> That's nope. a hard pass. It's <laughs> a hard no. I'm not reading those books. It's not happening. I've had some uh, books that I've had to change the. <laughs> In my head, we were saying this one, I had to go by his last name because it was really weird for me, and I'm like, I can't. So I totally get it with you guys. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's so mm -hmm. funny, Sarah. That is weird. Hey, Stacy. Hey, Stacy. Hey, how are you doing? <laughs> I forgot to put a link to the thing that you sent me. I'm sorry. Come on. Nicole. I was gonna. I was gonna She's do got it, a lot of buddy reads. I heard the beeping. Okay, so before this even has started, this <laughs> might even start. I heard beeping, beeping in my beeping. kitchen. Uh -huh. And as I was making, as I was making my cider, I was just like, okay, I gotta put a link in the description box for <laughs> Stacy's really great, you know, she has that thing where she has all of Julianne Lindsay's books on there and it's really nice and organized. I'm like, okay, I gotta put a link in the description Publication box. Order and everything. And then I was just, then I heard a beeping and then it's just, I really needed to find it, <laughs> but, I didn't, but I didn't even find it. <laughs> you laugh, but that, that, is, that idea is genius. That's great. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There so honestly, like this month is the month for readathons, October. Everyone wants to do a Halloween themed readathon and everybody's doing it. I don't do scary books though. So I feel like this was not my month to start. I think Little Book Owl's blog has a readathon calendar. She's, yes, mm -hmm. Katrina's really good about keeping, you know, with all the readathons. What are the chances, Sarah? <laughs> <laughs> Just subscribe to Olivia. First video is books based on secondhand clothes. Hmm, instantly have <laughs> to watch later. She has a lot of really fun and interesting, like things I would never think of doing. Like she has a really, like a lot of great, interesting videos. Yeah, Olivia's great. Maybe we need to make Julie a list of names not to use in future. Yeah, books. we probably could. Please? That's going like, to limit her a little bit. These are all of our fathers, brothers, <laughs> kids' names. Yeah. <laughs> please and thank you. It's just not as fun watching the announcement. <laughs> That's true. Like, yeah, you can read a blog post, but you want to watch an announcement. <laughs> yeah. It was the Salem Witch Romance one. Clearly, Mom gave us very Puritan names. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's 
called spreadsheet. a spreadsheet. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> God, I couldn't even think of the word. Scary it was the beeping. <laughs> You can filter YouTube searches by time period. Nice. Oh, by this month. That's a good idea. No read along for me. I can't pick. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll do one together, Bianca. Yeah. We'll both venture in together. We'll just pick one and then we'll see how it is. We won't even we won't even go searching. We'll let everyone else decide for us, being like, you guys, we like you. You should try this one. And then we'll just look at that one. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I Hi, Kim. How are you? We're doing good. How are you? <laughs> Hi, Christy. You hey. just finished Pulp Fiction. Oh, I haven't read it yet. I knew that. You're, you're ready for next week, too. Woo -woo. Anti hero list. Ooh. I like me some morally gray characters. Let's do it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I can read suspense <laughs> and serial killers all day, but I can't do horror books. Oh, yeah. What's a okay. decider? Honestly, nothing. <laughs> Uh, you would think so. Knowing you Nicole, well, you can't do fireballs in here, so that's that's out. I do have some do makers, it. Mark, but that would be good, buddy. Read for your first readathon. Yeah, do it. That's you awesome. Can. I found a good video. Forgot who it's by, but it was Halloween scary books for scary cats. That would be the perfect one if you ever find it. Tag that's me somehow. So cute. <laughs> She'd have to send you the link. Yes, but no, this uh, we're friends this on the Instagram. I remember this now because she brought it to my attention that I failed at life earlier. Super sorry. <laughs> I meant auntie names for our heroes. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Got it. You would think I put whiskey in my apple cider, but it's uh, not. It's totally, you know, non alcoholic. Cure. Any recs on where to buy bookcases? Um, I went to Walmart when I got mine. These ones over here. Okay, let's try and clear that area. <laughs> so these bookcases here. Too I got from Walmart. Did, did you? Does anybody have snow yet? Because I've seen on Twitter where some places um, have snow, and I just want to know what that's like. Because we're still reaching ninety degrees. <laughs> I saw. I feel like I saw. Was it Kim? Did she post it there? I, I follow so many of you now. I don't remember. But someone posted pictures of snow, and I was like, I'm so jealous. Okay. It hit 100 the other day here. I mean, I mean morally gray is fine, too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, apple cider slaying. So good. So good. It yep, is. Yep, yep. Um, so what I normally do when I get when I try to buy bookshelves, I go to on offer up and just see. Um, because, honestly, bookshelves are expensive. <laughs> Yeah. No snow, yeah. thank the Lord. <laughs> what is this snow you speak of? Yeah, I have no idea. Yeah. I've never seen her. <laughs> I've never seen her. Target is pretty good. Yep, yep. Ikea. Ikea, yes. The um, Ikea. I think that that's pretty much a staple where booktubers get their books. We had storms last night. I got so oh. little sleep. Oh. Well, thank you for coming. You're a trooper. Uh, yeah. No, no snow yet. here. No snow. No snow yet. Me, Jenny. Yeah, it was bright. Okay, I was like, I remember someone. <laughs> Rainy, cold, and gross. <laughs> you can send the rain to us. We'll we'll send you some heat. So. It was eighties where Julie's at. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Books with Samantha. Okay. Oh, okay. Books with Samantha. Okay. Never been no, jealous yeah. of not having to shovel or snow off. Or yeah, if I, I had I'm to okay shovel. No, to get out of my driveway to go anywhere, I wouldn't leave my house. I'm just saying. <laughs> just bury myself in. Uh, no. Yeah. I live in Ohio. Snow. Oh. Yeah. oh. It's okay. coming. It is. You better batten down the hatches here. But. Uh, yeah, we never get snow. We get snow in the northern country, but that's yeah. about it. Uh, that's months about it. Mon uh, Prescott gets some snow, Munns Park, Flagstaff, and up towards the Grand Canyon, but not really. I think the lower elevation, um, I think two years ago, or was it last year, Scottsdale got snow, but yes, as good. soon as it hit the ground, it melted. So. Melted. It was 80 degrees here wearing shorts. I'm wearing shorts right now as well. It's <laughs> a pain in the butt. <laughs> to yeah. Okay, I'm going to write that down. Hold on. I was like, can I find this right away? Oh. It would help with my phone. You can if you had a YouTube channel. Uh, Let me text it to you. In. Scaredy cats. Books with Samantha. Not Scarlet. Come on. I spelled Scaredy. Jesus. 
scaredy. I don't shovel. That's why I got married. <laughs> I mean, true. My parents bought me two extra Ikea shelves, and they think that will be enough. I thought they... I thought, aren't they cute? They're full already. <laughs> That's like you with your husband being oh, like, I built you some bookshelves. God. I'm going to need more. <laughs> I know. He was just like, I built the, the ones in this room, the ones that are, you know, behind me, like up here and going over and around the window to over here. Those are double stuffed, friends. Those are double stacked. My husband built these. They're floor to ceiling. They're full. <laughs> And she has another room full of books. And she I just do. got bookshelves for her bedroom. Yeah. Your books are on true. point. Don't you have like 2,000 in your physical book library now? Yes. <laughs> Sorry, I saw someone post that on your Facebook. So I was like, I can't remember the number. Oh, yeah. It was, honestly, I don't even remember the number. I try to forget about it. So I could. That's it's true. Feign, I could feign ignorance when my husband asks. <laughs> 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 I'm wearing a turtleneck sweater. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, no. <laughs> kids in shorts on or oh, ought to be that young. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let me see what like my physical book. I'm gonna guess 2194 at. because that number is sticking with me. You say 2194. That's your, that's the number you're going with. Yeah, I feel like that's what you had posted. Is that too much? Is that too little? Is that it's way too, too little? That's way too little. I'm at 2949. Okay, the 2194. I've got a lot of the numbers in there. Just take out the one, add an extra nine. You're fine. <laughs> you're about 800 bucks short, my love. I'm sorry. <laughs> Bookshelves are like they purses. Are. The larger ones you have, the more you pack in. That's for sure. That is Surely. for sure. Uh, shameless self plug. I just put, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, you're uploaded you're uh, part two of my children's middle grade and young adult library tour. Don't leave, um, like wait till we're done and then you can go watch it. <laughs> yep, yep, I want yep. a book room. I mean, my husband gets a movie. Um, uh, yeah. then you definitely have to get then a library. Definitely get a book room. <laughs> yes. You, he gets a movie room. You get a book room. You're both happy. <laughs> they are. <laughs> they are. They really are. Honestly, I'm so like, my husband is, you know, he's one of a kind. He's one of a kind, my husband. Price is right. <laughs> oh, that's some creative math there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was close-ish. <laughs> Ish. Oh, totally fine. Totally fine. Oh, that's your post-it notes. <laughs> <laughs> I know we're talking about weather slight, and readathons and Slight divergent, but that's okay. Slight tangent. We're fine. And tangent. We're there we go. Oh lord. The divergent. It's fine. I'm looking at a poster. I have a poster of four with the Divergent logo. So I was like, I mean, we did diverge from the topic, but I said Divergent. So I was like, Guinness, friends. I know. Jen is actually the one drinking tonight. Not me. I'm yeah. converting well, one of our guest room into a book craft room. That's amazing. I I'm love that for you. for you. Third floor space. Oh, yeah. You were telling me about that and you hurt your back. I'm so sorry. Oh, but she can play more books now. Yay. Back <laughs> pain is the worst. I have a book room. Hubby has star. Fair, fair is fair. Fair. 100%. fair is fair. And I feel like my husband doesn't think it's fair in our house because it's mostly just my books. <laughs> his space is outside. His space, that's where all of his tools are. That's where all of his toys are outside. He needs a garage. We could work on that. You know, so all of his, you know, stuff can move into the garage. But, you know, yeah, he probably does. He doesn't think the living situation that we're in is fair for him. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, one of my spare bedrooms into a book room. It's my favorite. Room. Yes, I, I would live in here if I could. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> so true. So true. Yeah. Okay, so back to the post notes. Oh, no, her guest room is turned into a homeschool room. How That's dare your kids true. do that to you? <laughs> That's so sad. I mean, you could you have do a library do, though. in the new time. school room. That's true. That's true. <laughs> Maybe I could take. <laughs> Bianca, I mean, we're on the same page. <laughs> I can take that over. Yes, yes. Happy wife, happy life. That's so true. true. That. Mm -hmm. So true. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that I my shelves in my room had to move them. People thought I had a community library. These you can't check these out. These are mine. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot check these out. <laughs> uh, 
timeshare in Bianca. It's 5 p.m. It's a book room. That's another so true. brilliant idea, Shannon. As soon as the class is over, it's a library. It's no longer a classroom. <laughs> Great idea. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. That's never ending for you. I'm sorry. Yeah, no. Let those no, sticky fingers play with my I books. I don't let people borrow my books. I there no. no. Jen has jokes. I do. Thank you. Off, <laughs> off topic. We've been off topic the entire night, it's Christy. Okay. It's fine. <laughs> oh, I have yeah. so many indie um, romance books that I want to sell. Any recommended eBay? besides eBay? Ooh. Besides eBay? Besides eBay? Can you sell on Amazon? Because I know that they have all those used books on there. I don't know what their process for reselling is, though. Um, you might even check a local bookstore. Because some of them, um, we have one called Bookman's, um, mm -hmm. where you can actually take your used books to. And they will kind of give you a price. So you can actually either get money back or store credit which is hilarious because they're like you can get 25 cents um <laughs> in your pocket right now or i'll give you 20 dollars in store and credit store and i was credit. like give me the store credit because you know i'm gonna buy some stuff so no reference books no takeouts exactly mm -hmm. so yeah honestly check i would i'm because i know like certain like used bookstores can sell on amazon i don't <laughs> know if personal people can sell on amazon <laughs> Um, but then, yeah, try local uh, used bookstores who are willing to take trade or sell your sell your books. Um, offer up. I don't know. Um, they do that. Oh, they and um, Latasha, Latasha saying Facebook. Yeah, Facebook has a marketplace. Mm -hmm. Half price books. So yes. Buys yes. book. Yep. Um, <laughs> thanks for all your two. <laughs> You're fantastic. <laughs> Craigslist. Oh yeah, Craigslist. I don't know what this word is. <laughs> this one. Could you, could you, I have no idea you? of those are Canadian or everywhere. Okay, Craigslist, Craigslist is yes. everywhere. Craigslist is everywhere. Facebook Marketplace, maybe for selling your books. Yeah. Poshmark. Um, I've heard of Macari. I haven't heard of Poshmark. Bundle them on Poshmark. Yeah. Thank you, ladies. Now get back to it's <laughs> okay. It's okay, Christy. We are now all back, over the place. <laughs> back to our regularly scheduled program here. So my next post-it note is basically like after uh, Winnie like Facebook stalked Colton, <laughs> yeah. and then so she's like, she's like, you know exactly what this note is about, Colton Wise, and he's like, what did you say? Like I've never told you my first name. <laughs> yeah. I was dying from secondhand embarrassment. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> That's what I, I actually, I highlighted a lot on those two pages. That was where I was like, I finally actually like really like you. <laughs> I ship I you was, now. I was dying laughing. Oh my gosh. Yeah, teaching takes uh, a different type of person, let me tell you. There's also a group on Facebook that you can sell them on. Oh, oh. Cool. Okay. Paperback swap. I'm going to have to look this up. I know. We're like, <laughs> write it down. Write it down. <laughs> that's, that's awesome, Stacey. Good, good. Now back to <laughs> Bless your heart. I, cannot, I could not. Oh, no. Mm -mm. Yeah, you I guys are superheroes right now. <laughs> that was so cute when he outed her Facebook research. Yeah, and he was just like, was there anything in particular you were looking for? Like, he was wanting her to be like, are you single? I feel like that's what he was trying to get at, but it never came out. So <laughs> second hand, I was like, oh. that's I was. Kind of that's the kind of shit like I would do. I'd be like, oh no, you. I was like, did you ever tell me your first name? I don't think you did. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, I was dying laughing. Oh, oh god, wonderful though. I loved it. <laughs> And then uh, this whole, when she was just thinking about how, like I said, Hank lied to me for months, visiting and interviewing with a big oil company in Ohio while pretending things were fine with us and even alluding to a Christmas proposal. Instead, he handed a huge money-making opportunity with an out-of-state company and made the announcement over Thanksgiving turkey at his mama's house. Yeah. I'm like, oh, my God. Um, I would have left, too. <laughs> I would, oh, yeah. She was like, I sat seating through dinner, and then afterwards, it's like, peace. This is like after pie, like after pumpkin pie and ice cream. I hadn't looked back since. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we need to do a swap one week with an. I would love that. Oh, yeah. I would love that. That's a good idea. 
Someone needs to take notes on lives. I mean, this place is to sell so books. Maybe we should get a um. What is it? The the secretary take not the secretary. What is it? The someone takes notes and then you read them at the top of the next event that you get to. And oh yeah yeah who yeah. Are you thinking of what is the name of that and I, why can I not think of this? I have no idea, but I know exactly what you're talking about. And the word is like literally, it's on the tip of my tongue, and I'm like, someone's gonna say it in the comments, and I'm gonna hate myself, but. <laughs> So embarrassing, but the notes for the notes for last week. Who does that? Who does the notes? Who reads them? Oh my I god! Don't know. I don't I'm even sorry. know how you would Google this to find out the answer. Shannon, <laughs> <laughs> the Shannon. minutes. Yeah, the minutes for the, the minutes. minutes. But who who reads the minutes? <laughs> one of us would I have to read. Want to say it's like the secretary? Oh god! Who reads the minutes? I'm in. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Stocking yeah. sleuth swap. Yes. Mm, Meeting minutes. minutes. Yes. There's like a specific person that's supposed to be like taking notes though. The minute taker. I mean that that could work. I'll go with it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who's gonna be it the is, <laughs> the secretary. You, said, <laughs> you, saying, you were saying you literally said I secretary. I know, but I didn't trust my gut. I was just like, I don't know. Maybe it's someone else. It seemed too easy. I've had too much to drink, guys. Okay, I apologize. <laughs> was that uh, half of that can is gone? Is that your too much there? Jen? I'm down here. I can finish right now. Let's do this. <laughs> Generally, it's the admin. Got it. Secretary, admin, go over the minutes. All kinds of words are going on right now. <laughs> yep. Uh, oh, yeah, the pumpkin and spice comments. Like, now I need two ginger cats called pumpkin and spice. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, the lighter fluid when he tried to burn the house down. That was scary. And, I'll, and I'm just like, Granny's scream barely registered before it was silenced by the impact that threw her small frame onto the ground. I was like, you hurt my granny! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there are more formal words for things for board of directors. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't Thanks, know Kim. these words. <laughs> Loving the Guinness can. I think that might be my last one, so I don't know what I'm doing next week. We'll have to we'll have to see where the world is at. Do I go to the store and get new? I know. I was like, you can go to the store, Jen. <laughs> yeah, but I also have like, have like excuse me, I have tea have and all I the words. like. <laughs> I yeah, go to the like, store. Or if you don't want to go into it. the store, go do like the curbside. No, I go into the stores. It's just I only go in like once a week if I can help it. Granny was a tough one. She was. Mm -hmm, I love Granny. Mm -hmm. Of the kittens, I although Granny. I wasn't sure she let them in the open car. Her father left her. I wasn't sure she let, left her. What? What? What, what happened? Wait, what happened? The kittens, although I wasn't sure he let them in the car. Oh, are you saying like um, her cars were so nice you wouldn't think she would leave them in there? Is that what oh, you're yeah, the grandpa. This, Grampy. Yep, she, yep, had, yep, yep. Like, she has those Mustangs. Like, Ooh, even though I'm not really up. I'm not really a Ford person, but uh, I'm more much more of a Dodge. Um, but yeah, liquor store, could I pick up, do it. But yeah, I was like, those, a... uh, those Mustangs sounded um I'm going to have to get a cider for next week. An oh. alcoholic cider. Okay, you do that. I I forgot we were supposed to be doing a cider, and I got the Guinness. <clears throat> I, at least I have alcohol. You should be happy. She had three awesome. She did. Yes, she did. Mm -hmm. Sally mm -hmm. was one of was Sally one of the names of the cars? I think That's so. One that she did like you write the them on your character list? I did not. I didn't write damn Bessie it, on there yeah. either. I'm oh, sorry. Damn it. Kittens. Grampy Smite. Them. I remember that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and honestly, she she had to make a hard decision. She sold two of those cars so she could open up her cider shop, and I really feel like oh yeah yeah what she was saying. Well, what she's gonna do with them? Like she's never gonna drive them. Well, no, like what she was saying. Like at the end, she's like she she feels like her her grandfather would be proud of her, and that you know it's like she was um like he was helping her even you know from the other side, helping her achieve her dreams. I'm like yes, that's a good way to look at it because she was really torn about selling them. I feel the same way, Stacy. I do venture out, but I literally go out before I shower, and then when I come home, I put everything yeah, away, I wash all myself, and then I go take a shower. 
she did get a carrier she got a carrier real quick she did and then she spent like a hundred extra dollars on all this other stuff and i was like that's a cat mom for you good job that was her <laughs> white mustang yeah she kept the white mustang uh because that was the one she drove the most often because mm -hmm. she she made a comment where she's like she was driving the red one because she didn't want to be seen with her white one because people knew that's what she drove because she was trying to invade the killer Delivery Must I mean, with you guys in the snow. Mustang. Delivery is yeah. I love how like Mustang Sally. I didn't even put uh that song like to with that That's until you said it. Yeah. Yes. Until she said it like that though. She said okay. Mustang Sally. It makes me I think of her groceries. That Julia and Lindsay posted on her Facebook that she was looking for a really like random name for a oh, yellow yes. bug, bug and they had flowers on it and I, I the same I know everyone was coming up with things with like yellow and I was trying to think of it too and I'm like I think it'd be really good to go into like left field and be like you should name the car blue lightning I know I saw your comment I'm like really Jen <laughs> it just it seemed like fun I mean if you're looking for a really oh obscure God. name like depending on the character that could be a very quirky thing you're so funny. I just I was really trying to be funny because everyone else was really serious and I was like, I can't think of anything new with with yellow. So I'm like blue lightning. <laughs> she did, Stacey. She's she, she uh she sold it to um the the vet that who well, she said vet, yep. he said that she would take really good care of it Which and you know home. yes. Mm -hmm. I remember that from when they were together. The cars helped her dreams. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mustang so. I'm not gonna listen uh, to this song now. Yeah, you gotta. Yes, exactly. Like she had those three just sitting there, you know. And I, just, and I feel like it was kind of, you Grampy know, meant to be. It. Yeah, her mom, her backstory with her mom, I was just oh, like, um, no. Like he, she yeah. left her, and then she was like, I didn't date in high school because my mom did, and I was like, oh damn. Like, like I didn't date ooh. in high school because that's how she ended up with me, and then she like decided she didn't want to be a single mom anymore, and she just dropped her off at Grammy and Grampy's, and. Peace out. I, I was so like, bad. wow, mother. Well, look where she's at now. She's killing it. Killing Not it. Killing people, Greatest solution to making mysteries. her dreams happen. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like, so instead of getting like a really expensive where she has to pay back interest, business loan, yeah, from the she bank. Can pay back herself. Yep. She can pay back herself. It's been a while since I've read this one. You're doing really so, great. You're doing a great job. You're on point. On point. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. So when um, the fire, you know, was happening and because um, Granny had called dish dispatch first and by the time Colton, because, you know, obviously when he called Colton and by the time Colton called dispatch, it's like Granny had already called it in. They knew what was going on when I called. Mm. And then um, when he's like, you got here first, Colton gave a sharp dip of his chin. I was like, yeah, because he has to protect his soulmate hello <laughs> <laughs> it's maybe think of hillbilly <laughs> <laughs> oh god my mom got married when she was 16 thankfully she stuck out parrot i know friends and that i mean you you're high school sweetheart yes you met and stayed with them I mean, you guys don't have kids yet. I know. I was like, we didn't get pregnant. But <laughs> I mean, you have dogs. You're fur babies. Okay. Those count as kids. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's definitely like, I honestly, like I wasn't, I wasn't pregnant in high school and I'm not, you know, that can be really, really difficult and a scary situation, oh, yeah. but that's so sad. You have to abandon, yeah. abandon your kid like that. Mm. That is great, Stacey. Mm-hmm. Love it. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, um, when, like, when she, what, when he, when Colton was at the doctor's office and uh, she was saying, like, the Jones, like, how is it possible that Colton was here now? And I was like, because he's a good cop. <laughs> Oh my god, uh, she was like so flabbergasted that he was actually able to do some do deductive work here. <laughs> oh my god, it's so funny. Oh goodness. There are and a couple times in this time. Oh, sorry, sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. I was just gonna say there's a couple times where like they were talking and I'd be like in my mind because of everything you said with Kitty Couture, be like, detective. Apple cider owner. <laughs> so like he would Detective. say that and I would be like, I heard, like I heard it. I heard it. I heard it in my brain. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. 
time. <laughs> oh, yes. When she was mad at him because he didn't go after the four wheel, all I saw was you. You? Oh, oh my God. God. Yeah. Yes. I was like, Colton, Colton. So, what? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I love that quote too. Um, I also love when she got caught eavesdropping on Colton and the doctor and uh, she was like torn between the urge to provide a plausible excuse for my blatant eavesdropping and an absolute unwillingness to speak at all. I covered my mouth and ran. <laughs> oh my God. I read that at work and I could not pull it together for like 20 minutes. I was <laughs> laughing so hard. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just oh. like, I would honestly, I would do the same. I would just, I'd be like, mm, abandon buddy. it, abandon ship, <laughs> abort mission, abort. <laughs> you gotta be out of there. <laughs> I covered my mouth and ran. <laughs> Like, he doesn't know who you are. Like, obviously, he knows you're not in this. Oh, myth. my God. Oh, oh I was dying. <laughs> Are we going to make Nicole Smoker <laughs> laugh today? Come on, bring it out. <laughs> oh, my God. There it is. Yay. Oh, my God. Put yourself together, Nicole. We have a live stream to do here. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my god, I have to put myself in timeout. Jen, carry the no, live stream. No, no, I don't know how to coach. I'm only a co-host oh with the co-host. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm crying. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Okay, pull it together. Pull it together. Deep <laughs> Something was in the cider. Am I a hundred percent agree? Oh my god! Oh, my Julie characters. They're so relatable. I would have done it. I would have done it. Oh, we got the laughs tonight. <laughs> Thank goodness Nicole didn't put anything in there. Honestly, I feel like she might have. She's <laughs> just lying to all of us. <laughs> oh, I swear, I would have got up. <laughs> I'm glad you all are at least enjoying it, though. <laughs> Alicia. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> so much better with that. <laughs> I was here <laughs> Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> So pull, it together. pull it together. together, <laughs> Nicole. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Don't read that line again. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it. Um. Okay, let's see. The, uh. <laughs> okay. So when um, her and Dot were talking. <laughs> sorry. You're not going to be able to. Do I need to read some post-it notes? I wasn't planning on it. <laughs> I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> don't lie. We want, I swear. I swear. I put my hand on the Holy Bible. I did not put anything in my cider. <laughs> Uh, my husband just commented, this is like a Yay. fun group. Yes, yes we are. We are a fun group. Oh, gosh. Get so invested in the characters, kind of sad. But in this pandemic, I think we, yes. Yeah, we do, 100%. Oh, 100%. We're your friends. We're your friends. Mm-hmm. Uh. <laughs> yeah, Nicole, Sharing come on. Care. <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna get back on track, oh, are you? Can't. Oh God! Come on, I did, Bianca. I swear. I did. <laughs> Go into the kitchen and get the packet. I need to see it now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> so <funny>. uh, <clears throat> okay. I swear. I swear. This is water. 
water. You never have water. That's wine. Got it. Okay. This is water. You're on the computer. Oh, uh, pandemic or not, oh, I don't have friends. Yeah, you do. with your friends. There's with like at least friends. 15 of us. <laughs> I need to do a count. I do. Uh, yeah. <laughs> My book friends, none of my friends. Yes, oh, I know. Yeah. I know. None well, of my friends. Read. Once we finish the Julianne Lindsay um, backlog, we'll have to figure out something else to all read together. Because, um, yeah, we, we can't lose anybody. <coughs> nope. <coughs> What's happening with you? Joking now. There's definitely alcohol in there. I don't trust you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> we'll call this episode the one yes. with the laughing. Yep, you're going to have to change the title. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. We all need to, you know, meet in the middle of Can America. Can it be international and we'll just say, like, we'll meet in Rome or something? I mean, that would be fun experience. <laughs> <laughs> a little expensive, but, I mean, I would love to oh, go on a, a little, A little expensive. <laughs> hey, let's do it. Well, if you start planning now, by the time they let us travel, we're thinking, like, two years yeah. from now, let's two just years. do it. Two years from now, yes. Start, Two years, uh, everyone make sure you have like $5,000. We'll just go on like a <laughs> seven-week vacation. Getting over there is the hardest part. <laughs> Nicole, when you start going like, vodka water, there's a problem. Oh, my God. She writes books so fast, though. Well, true. Have, yeah, like we'll never be done. <laughs> well, I know that she said she had one in January. I think February was her off month, and then we know for sure March and April. And then we also have a fall one because this one's going to get book three in the fall. Mm -hmm. I want to say that she's going to have a seaside mystery one sometime. Her Christmas, her Christmas tree one is coming out in the fall. Oh, is the I Christmas thought. tree one the three one? Maybe it's not this yeah. one. Dang it. Well, she's coming out with a new book in this series too, but ah. I'm not sure exactly when it's going to be. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Yeah, don't think they will allow that. I know. Let's all all right, we'll keep it. We'll keep it in, in the U.S. A lot of my friends like really deep, kind of depressing. Yeah, I books. can't do those. I read no. to escape reality, guys. Okay, if there's a lot of reality to it, unless if it's a cozy, I don't want it. I I'm lucky. I read the bromance book club because I really stay away from contemporary romances. So that's just me. Seaside, yes. Um, um, darkly <clears throat> or close something harbored secrets. Uh, closely harbored, harbored secrets. secrets. Yes, comes out December twenty ninth. I remember ninth. that one now. <laughs> ninth. We should do a movie night. Oh Disney app has this watch God. party. Yes, Netflix does the watch parties too. That's so cool. We got <clears> on the spreadsheet. I know. I know. I should have. I should have brought it up. I mean, let's do this here. Yeah, bring it up because she does have things that are coming out. I saved it as a favorite on my phone so that I could start crossing out when I read things. So we have Closely Harbored Secrets 2020. Seaside 6 and 7 are to be determined. Um, Cider Shop Rules, which is going to be in 2021. Uh, we have Impact Zone, which I think was March. <laughs> Stop with the romance. Is 2021. <laughs> and Daddy Detective is 2021 as well. There's like four other ones, though. With dates unknown. Elizabeth is wondering what kind of books, um, dark and depressing, deep books that your friends recommend to you. Kim. <laughs> I'm sorry, Bianca. <laughs> I, she's like, stop it. I just can't. <laughs> I'll try and think of another one. Rarely yeah. read contemporary or realistic works. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. If you guys like why. Did you already I read Seaside? I am behind. We read Seaside last year. I read it this May. I read all of it in May. <clears throat> yeah, I, I read I read hard. Seaside. I read Seaside last year. Uh, Jen Jen read all of the books because when A Call for Kelp came out, we did a live stream discussion for Call for Kelp, and she read all of them to catch up. So I yes, thought I would have need, already like, read a book a week, time. but I read it in like one week, all four <laughs> of them. So, or actually, it was I, all three of them. Then I had to wait. Not Disney, I have Netflix, no? not Disney. Something in bromance too really bothered me, and I almost want to politely reach out to the author. Oh, uh, now I like to know. Yes, DM us. We want to know. Okay, so <laughs> back to now that I've calmed down. Thank you for 
commenting so I can Keeping calm down real. My laughing. <laughs> Thank you for commenting so I can calm down on my, I'm doing CSAR on my own because yeah, I have to. You're yes. going to love it. You're going to love and it. And then Bianca, you can also let us know too, because you read King first, um, where does Seaside <laughs> land with Kitty Couture? Because I'm Kitty actually kind of curious. Yeah. Call for Carp oh, was when I found you. Know. Love it. Yay. <laughs> so my next post to know for this book. Um, what? We have more? I know we have more okay. posts to know. So what? <laughs> what was um, the last one? That, <laughs> don't get me going again. We already, that was like 20 minutes of me laughing. Um, <laughs> uh, Dot and Winnie were uh, talking and she said, did you vote for him? I hadn't, but then again, I, I barely looked at the competition. So she didn't even vote for Colton, for Sheriff. She just voted for the whole predecessor. <laughs> and Dot's like, sure, I voted for him. I was like, she didn't even vote for Colton. Oh my God, I was dying laughing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, that makes me think of a post-it note where there was a lady. Oh, it's different. Not necessarily voting though. Like but... I had to sober up from her cider. <laughs> Listen. She really did, though. Listen! <laughs> Jody Picoult, another about a family upstairs and what happened in the past and not great repercussions. Um, I've read some Jody Picoult. Yeah, I've read um, My Sister's Keeper. Um, I've read another one by Jody Picoult. Yeah, I can't remember um, what the book was called, but yeah, she's... The book may be I don't correct. think I've ever read a Jody Picoult book. I think <clears throat> that's okay it's kind of like um Kristen hannah like her books always made me cry so i have to be in the mood to want to cry yeah yeah and i wanted these recipes i wanted these recipes in the book yeah i mean they might be in the next one sad day <clears throat> mm -hmm. i haven't read kitty yet i was waiting Ooh. to see if i can get the last one for christmas okay Ooh. yes Sorry for misspelling. You're okay. Hey, Bobby. See? <laughs> Jen, check your Insta DM. Okay. Check it. Although I don't want to say it out loud while we're on the thing, but I'll. Oh, yeah. I just. Uh... Okay. I think. Okay. Yeah. I think that's all the post notes for what I we haven't talked about yet. What about Joanne Baluke? Um. I have read some Joanne Fluke. I've read um, <clears throat> I've read up to book number five in the um, Hannah Swenson series. I kind of, I know that book, that series is super long. I think there's like 20-ish books in that series. Um, I just Hannah was getting on my nerves a little bit. Getting on my nerves a little bit. So I decided to stop with that series. I would love to start. Yes. There's a lot. There's just a lot in that series. A whole bunch. The first one is Chocolate Chip Cookie Murder. It's killing me because the first three are on my shelf. And you're going to wait. You have a lot more willpower than me. <laughs> there, if there are no recipes for some of the ciders, should we just make them up ourselves? Yes. Yep, yep, next, yep, week, yep. next week, I'm definitely going to add whiskey to my cider. And y'all are going to know I what might try and get a hard cider next next week. Is that the food cover one? Bianca, uh, that's our buddy read. We could do that. I don't. I don't haven't read that one either. Sorry, that was that's alcohol. I was real excited on that one. <laughs> I do, do want to read this as well. Do you mean for the Hannah Swenson? Yeah, they have food on the cover. No, the jackal. The oh, I'm sorry. I was thinking Joanna Fluke. The ch chocolate chip, chocolate cho chocolate chip, chocolate chip cookie murder. Hey, it is a, there it is. It's a baking cozy. So oh. yes, they're food. Oh, there's ones. food on the covers. There is food on the covers, yes. I have the first three. Yeah, how many do I have? I have sprinkled throughout. I don't have all of them. I have I have up to 17, 54, 19, 19. 100. There, it, it doesn't go that long. Wow. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> wow. You have them all, okay? You have all the books. I do. No, I don't. <laughs> I only have until book 19. 19. How do you know? 19. Did you write on the outside? Did you write on the outside of a book? Don't be that fifth. person. Fluke food. Fluke food. Yes. Fluke food. Okay. Fluke food. All right. Anything else that we? I'm surprised you didn't highlight this about. little gem. There was they were talking. It was like the random little ladies, where I don't remember all of them because I don't think they ever really gave too many names. 
They have like a card group. Yeah, the card club. And one of the mm -hmm. ladies goes, I wouldn't mind the sheriff digging in my wardrobe a while. And I was like, I love this lady. I'm surprised you didn't highlight that. I figured like for <laughs> sure you would have. For sure. Oh, hey, it's my Twitter anniversary, y'all. Four <gasps> years. Happy Twitter anniversary. How many years? Four? <laughs> four? <laughs> I literally said it's my Twitter anniversary. It's four years. And you're like, oh, happy anniversary. How many years? It's because you're not listening to me, Jen. It's I'm you're not sorry. Okay. <laughs> there was also so a really funny. good pun in here. There was a lot of um, was a apple lot of puns. puns. It was. Yeah, the apple didn't fall far from the tree. Mm -hmm. I like Bailey that. Bailey Cage Magical Bakery is really good. Brownies Ooh. and Broomsticks is the first one. And it's fantastic. That's good. I love how they just sit in the cafe and drink pot after pot of coffee and they just play cards. Y'all, I don't have apples. <gasps> you might be able to get, so you'd have to look at the ingredients. It's but I mean, well, she can't have cinnamon, so she has to be careful as well. Um, see, I remember some if things. Make, if you make your own cider, you can leave out the cinnamon, but oh, she does God. need apples for apple cider, Jen. I know, but I'm thinking like the little <laughs> packets. If you read like the pre-made packet oh, one, not God. the same, but you could read the pre-made ones and see if there are any without cinnamon. Because I'm sure they've got to make, make some without it. It's got to be a, a no, no allergy to, for lots. Yeah, I have a feeling she would have to make her own. Mm. Brownies and broomsticks. Um, yes, please. Yes, I have that book around here somewhere. I am ready for Pulp Fiction as well. I know that you keep popping it up there. I don't know if you're going back to it or. Ooh, ready for Pulp Fiction. I almost feel like I need to read it right now. Not reread it. I need to read it the first time now so I can find out all the Colton secrets. Yes. Yes. I mean, for my pick. Oh, for your Instagram pick. Yes. <gasps> that would be a great idea. Oh, yeah, because it's National Apple Day. Sorry. You should probably we'll go to the store on. and get some apples. <laughs> Just get enough to make cider. <laughs> <laughs> I want to read Brownies and Broomsticks. It was so good, and those covers are adorable. Is Brownies and Broomsticks the first one? Yep. So, okay. Yes, it, it is. Be, see how hard it would be to find one. Um, I think, um, I think it's on Hoopla. I think Pulp Fiction. I have read Pulp Fiction. Um, I read it. When did I read that? Goodreads. When did I read this book? Goodreads would know the answer <laughs> to this question. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, that seemed really rude. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Goodreads would know. Uh, Pulp. And Hoopla. So we said Friction. Brownies and Broomsticks. Here we go. I rated it five stars. Surprise, surprise. What? This is brand new information. <laughs> I know. I know. Y'all, I read it this. I read it this year. What? That's no wait. Hold on, because this book, the book that we currently read, came out in 2019. So did this one come out in 2020? Is that why? I think so. I think so. I read this in April. <gasps> oh my April. god! It's an audio book too. Yes, that's what I was. That's what I. Did I you? was thinking it. I'm not sure if I said it. <laughs> you probably oh my Price is averted. Happy say we do the have Lord, thank I'm God. so down. Whoa. I just because haven't watched them. It's fine. It's fine. There Apple are nine. Averted. Yeah, there there's a there's a bunch. Yep. There's nine guys. What's happening here? Yeah, there's Bam. a lot. Yes. You're welcome. Stacy, thank you so much for coming. You yes, have a great Stacey. night as well. You take a long rest because I said you said you had a long day. So hopefully you go to sleep quick and you get a good rest. Words are hard. Words are hard. Uh, yes, this <laughs> book, uh, Pulp Friction, came out this year, April 28th, 2020, which is why I read it. I know things. I made a folder on my Kindle just for cozies. I need to learn That's how to good. make folders. Oh, it's easy. You would on the I can tell you how to do it later. Bye, I just, can I do it on my Kindle? I think so. Um, okay. maybe not. Yeah, you should be able to. If I can't do it on my Kindle, it's a I don't collection do it. or category. I'll if we'll I can't figure it out later. Do it on my Kindle, I don't want to do it. Bye, Stacy. <gasps> Stacy's right. Oh, wow, I didn't know the series was so long. Eep. <laughs> <laughs> Let's we'll do the, it all. <laughs> read the first one. Read the first one, and if you know you like it, then you know you have to continue. True. I've read all nine. Yes. That's <laughs> impressive. <laughs> Pulp Fiction came out in the spring. Yep, yes. Yep. Yep. Hopefully no fingers crossed. Tonight. Send them our way if they do. Say I don't yeah. want you Arizona does, and we'll take it.
We need some rain. We need some heavy yeah, rain, y'all. We've had too many fires. Night. Good night, Alicia. Good night, Alicia. I have a headache. It's time to figure out insurance plans. Oh, oh I hate no. insurance. Oh, no. Insurance is the yeah. worst. Open enrollment is going on at work, and I love how we could just be like, continue with last year's plan? Yeah, that sounds fantastic. Great. Thank you. <laughs> I wish ours did that. They make us pick it, like, every year, and then they have, like, weird ways to get your AS HSA, and I always get, like, confused on how to, like, make sure to sign up for it. Um, on the Kindle. See, Shannon knows you can us. Do it. You can do it on the Kindle, through the Kindle app. Nice. We could do two at one weekly and monthly. Like two. Like this one and one of the, the brownies and broomsticks. Oh, you want to read two books a week? It, it's an audio book. I could do it. I could make that commitment. I just need to know now. What series has <laughs> my, my boyfriend keeps talking? Boyfriend! Oh, boyfriend, we haven't been talking. <laughs> but it's, understand. Uh, <laughs> uh, brownies and Broomsticks is the first book in the series. It's uh, Bailey oh. Kate's Magical Bakery Mystery Series. The yes. one that starts with brownies and broomsticks. Yes, I'm yes, up yes. to speed on the bakery series. So fun. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. I love it. I love it a lot. Should we make that be our November <laughs> readathon? <laughs> I don't know how you have to make them up, but we can make up our own and then just add that one. <laughs> well, um, Charles is doing a paranormal readathon, okay. and I'm sure. Magical Bakery seems pretty paranormal to me. I'll have to check it out. Yes, do two at once. Do one monthly and one week. Okay, so we're going to have like our normal weekly live streams and then we have a special one like bi monthly. Bi-weekly. She has in the next one go down. Bi-weekly or one bi-weekly and one weekly. I mean, as long as it's an audiobook, I feel like I could do... I would prefer to be bi-weekly or monthly just because to give myself enough time, especially because next week I'm going to have a lot of I'm going to have a lot of things to read. Plus, I need to read V.E. Schwab's The Invisible Life of Addie Laurie because Addie I've heard so many Addie amazing things about La, it. Addie, Addie LaRue. La, Addie LaRue. Yeah, I'm sorry. I can't I can't, okay. I can't. say words out loud, guys. I'm sorry. That's fine. That's not even or alcohol related. That's the just Magical related. Magical Bakery After the Holidays. Oh, yeah, yeah. Could that could that. be an option, too. Yeah, we do have to start thinking about what we're going to do, what we're going to start reading after we finish Julie and Lindsay's backlist. We might have to throw something in there just in the middle <laughs> to get people, because the, the backlist is going to be harder to get a hold of, I've come to see. Um, oh, <laughs> yeah. Two weeks is a lot. <laughs> two weeks week is a lot. I know. Oh, Bianca's I know. got it. The V.E. Schwab, I'm assuming. I just checked that out, Jen. Yes. Want to buddy read? Yeah. Mm -hmm. There you go. <laughs> there you go. DM each other. It's going to be fun. I've been really wanting to read that. I've heard such great things. I've heard nothing but good things. Nothing. Well, knock on wood. Why would you jinx us like that, Nicole? Come on. Gosh. I just, I was just agreeing with you, Jen. <laughs> wow. Sounds better after the holidays. Yeah, I feel like our, our plates are full right now. So definitely, you know, when we come back in the new year, when we start fresh, and then uh, we can figure out what we need to read. We do have two months coming up where there is going to be a two-week hiatus. So we could attempt to say that along with the one Julianne Lindsay book that maybe we try in those two weeks to we read one of the other ones. Or if that's still too much, then I will stay silent here. <laughs> well, um, the reason why that we're not. I know holiday though. Yeah, we're not doing the live streams because I physically are, am not going to be here to do a live stream. So that's why we're not doing it. But we could read a book in that one and then on our next live stream discuss two books. But that discuss could be a lot for a lot of people. Yes, V.E. Good thing. Good things about what? The book. Oh, good things about uh, the invisible life. Of it's way over there. Room. Otherwise, I'd grab it. It's real, I can show you a picture, though. What is a buddy read? It is a uh, reading with a buddy. Um, basically, y'all pick a book. This is how I do it. You pick a book you want to read, and then you break it down into sections of um, how many chapters you want to read a day. And so when you read that section, and then you talk about it. So I like using the Voxer app. Voxer app is very fun because it's a text and talking, like a walkie-talkie app. 
So you can text, be like, hey, I read through chapter this. And then you can talk and say this is like you can actually voice your thoughts. So that way you're not going to be spoiling if you if the other person hasn't read it yet. But yeah, sure. that is a buddy read. That's how I do buddy reads. I'll, everybody does it different. You'll find out like what works for you. What is everyone's yearly book goal on Goodreads? 100. Nicole's on Goodreads is 200, but her actual is 300. No, it's not. My my goal is 100. Okay, it's 100, but your actual goal is 300. My actual goal in my head was 365, but that's not going to happen. I thought it was just 300. Oh, man. I wanted to read a book a day. There's 360. To, was this year a leap year, too? This was a leap year, so it'd be 366. So 366. I'm super so behind. Start some comic books in there. You're fine. I'm super behind. <laughs> How many do you have? You? I thought you were like 270 something. 275. Yeah, so you're really close. You could you could push it through. I believe in you. <laughs> you're like Jen. Stop having faith in me. I don't want to do it. <laughs> have faith in me. I could do 300. I can do. I can do 300. I think you're good for 300. Buddy reads are a bit different, yes. Yeah, they are. We could all buddy read. There's an app that randomly pairs people I've used for Secret Santas, and we can all have a buddy read. Was it, it Elfster? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, is it Elfster? Is it funny? 150, <laughs> but I don't do good reads. The internet doesn't oh. need my whole reading list. <laughs> I need your whole reading list. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, it's a leap year. Thanks. <laughs> She's on top of it, though. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Y'all, I want to read 24 a year. It's too, too much. Hey. That's what I started out with a couple years ago, and then I realized that I hit that. Because we have a book club, so they do bi-weekly. But I think I started to try and stretch it. But last year, because I got really into ebooks. um, Elfster. Or not ebooks, uh, audiobooks. I was able mm -hmm. to push through much more. Yes. Mm -hmm. So that's sure. the only reason why I increased it. I think last year was the, I read the most books I've ever read in a single year, which was like 122. Yeah. Which was insane. Thanks to audiobooks and buddy reads. If it has a number, I track it. Sure. <laughs> it's just like I'm sorry. I read awesome. some weird. I read some weird shit, and that's it's going on Goodreads because I need to track everything I read. I need those numbers. I don't actually have a yearly goal. I just enter something um, into Goodreads. <laughs> so Goodreads <laughs> stop asking me. That's for sure. Yeah. I did. What did I do uh, at first? Did I do fifty two? I, like, I did fifty two, like, and I yelled I think at you, and I was like, "Your goal know. is three hundred, so at least put two hundred, and you still would have been two hundred." Peer pressured me. Yeah, I did. Like, I feel like a book a week, you know, with with yeah. something that's easily. Uh, for me, attainable. So, yep. but then you're like, last year you read this many books. You need to put it at least half that. And I'm just like, stop coming at me, me and attacking me, Jen. <laughs> 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 yeah, with the audiobook, it definitely increased my reading. It helps. Yep. Sure. Thank goodness for two speed. Mm, yes. Yep. Yes. Well, and I feel like I wouldn't be able to read audiobooks at one speed because they're just, they're so slow for me. And it All just, I can't now. do it. Yes. Mm hmm. I'll read whether it's an audiobook, whether it's a graphic yeah. novel, because I know there was some Twitter, some author tweeted that, you know, graphic novels and comic books aren't really reading. And I don't agree with that. Get out of here. I don't agree with that. Reading, reading, reading is reading, whether you're listening, whether you're looking at pictures and words or, you know, manga, graphic novels, comic books, it's all reading. And you should not be shamed for what you're reading either. True. Yeah. I was on three. Get yeah. it. Three speed. Yeah. Get it. I, I very, I can't do three speed yet. It sound, oh, sounded one speed. When you, when you get up to the two, it, getting up to the three, like one speed sounds so like they're underwater. Yeah, it does. So I actually, I listen to podcasts and I listen to Dear Jank and John at 1.5 cause I'm really far behind. They have, I'm like 30 behind on where they're at. So I was at 1.5 and the other day I was with a friend and they're like, I can't understand it. It's too fast. And they put it down to one and it is, it's like they're walking through water. I, it felt like with a Laura? joke because they're, no, 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 no. <laughs> I was like, where are you with Laura? <laughs> no, but then it was just like, 
And I was like, yeah. why is everything in slow motion? I don't like it. Yep. My good recalls is such a, I love that. I love how, like, there's some people, um, some of my friends on uh, Twitter who either set their Goodreads goal to one or they set their Goodreads goal to like 5,000. So there's like no way they could achieve it. So they're always behind. They don't care. Or they set it to one. So they're always, you know, like ahead, you know, kind of thing. And it's just like, you know, whatever floats your boat, I say. Whatever gets you reading. It was this book. Nice. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Yeah, I feel like this narrator was a bit slow, so you can push she it out. I think I read this book at three speed, too. I believe I did, yeah. Wow. I have some thick political things that will kill me. Books read oh. um, month by, oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, anything for, like, if it's something, like, <laughs> I have to read. Sorry. My five-year-old asks if they're speaking what English. my dad uh, does when I have it on three speed. That's what He's my, like, is that even English? Yeah. I'm like, yeah, they are. Says. I was like, yeah, they are. That's that's English. You are correct, but um, but yeah, anything that I have to read, like if I had to read for school or like, no, I, I like books struggled. Were so much more attainable when we were in school because I feel like I would have gotten to reading much faster. Much. Yes, yes, for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, first. Yep, first. Yep, 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 yep. All right. <laughs> what else we want to talk about? I don't know. I don't know. I'm like surprised you didn't mention better. the bit in this book when there was mistletoe and she started looking at it and then he stood underneath it and I was like, kiss him. Kiss him now. I know. It's just, it's so funny because she made a point to like not look at it because she was thinking about it and then he actually looked at it. I'm like, y'all messing with me? Stop, <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> just make out already, okay? Everyone, make you're out. in a barn. Just do it, okay? <laughs> Oh my gosh. I was like, yes. But I knew, I know, I know, Julie and Lindsay, you know, they're not going to kiss until book four. Whenever that book comes out, you know. <laughs> Don't put that in her ear. Hopefully she's already read it in book three or written it in book three. She's watching. Julie, tell me I'm wrong. Julie and Lindsay, I know you're watching. Tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> Watch. She goes, there's a kiss in book there's three. There's a kiss in book three. <laughs> <laughs> there's a kiss for uh, yeah remember how she pulled that one last time yeah there's a kiss in the next book that one she hurt. lied hurt. <laughs> hurt me. she didn't lie just wasn't a uh, kiss that we wanted. not for school for fun i'm a nerd that's awesome mm. though if you like reading that stuff great i like nonfiction is probably the genre that i never reach for but i have read some nonfiction in the past that i really loved but i just don't i don't that's not something that I would pick for myself. All the nonfiction that I've read is that is for book club. I've never picked up a nonfiction just for myself. I wanted it to happen, but I thought it would be too soon. Julie, right there <laughs> it's just making us wait for right there with you. Yeah. Me and Bianca are like the same person today. I love it. Crossed We're on it. the same page. <laughs> I crossed it. So one of my favorite parts was grandma's yes! yes. Oh my gosh. When she was saying like she was taking orders and like they were like <laughs> They're the saying like how they're like the rude sayings. Like this is rude. <laughs> Dying yeah. I'm like, oh, Granny. What did she put? Oh. oh gosh, I don't think I had highlighted it. Yes, I loved how people helped the shop and make it happen. Like yes. it was all ready, and it was like a dream come true because they were both in the hospital at, by the end. There, that'd be hilarious if we had to wait till book three. Yeah, that's gonna happen. I'm not in love with fantasy. <gasps> I'm just kidding. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Oh, I feel yet. Charles, what do you feel me on? This is the first time you're commenting on this entire live I think stream. it was Bianca's, like, the, the fantasy. Char and that's my guess. Oh, you don't like fantasy? That's true, because you gave Akatar one star. <clears throat> yeah, we're back to that. She's so salty about it. Salty. <laughs> Yeesh. <laughs> Charles, you do read mostly contemporary, right? But you read Immortals After Dark, and you loved that. Yeah, I wouldn't call that fantasy fantasy, though, because it's got it's, a lot of contemporary in it with a light fantasy, like, demons in it. It's urban fantasy. Urban fantasy. All right. Whatever. Types of crotch that people are asking Granny to do is too funny. Seriously. Yeah, they're, like, was. put, like, <laughs> so funny. I was trying to find it, but I can't. <laughs> Girl, where have you been? Yeah, that's what y'all liked. I was like, how are you going to, like, were you just creeping on the background the whole time? And you're just like, I'm going to just throw a comment out there right now. <laughs> randomly <laughs> still having to be polite before gossiping yes they're like they're coming over and she's like we were just getting into the like you know the start of it here hey Charles yeah. I finally saw her <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I have no idea what I read. Honestly, I don't either. Oh, no. He brought <laughs> I know, it down. I see it. I see it. Don't even, worry, don't even worry about it. The explanation about how the barns were painted for free as long as – yes. I feel yeah. like that's actually a really smart, you know, um, like if you don't have, you know, a lot of money for advertising, you just – but you have time. But like that's actually really smart. Mm-hmm, I'm mm-hmm. stalking you too. <laughs> Avatar is not trash. False. But- False. Well, okay, book know. one is when you read book two, because after you read book two, you're like, book I, one's you no know, good. I prefer book two, but you still have to you still have to read book one for, to get a to good get through story. it. Yeah. Uh huh. Has anyone read Royal Holiday by? Ja- I have I not read so. a single thing by Jasmine Guillory. Guillory. I don't even know how to say. I'll it. look it up. Hold on. on. Royal She's Holiday. The one that, that wrote, sounds really familiar. She's the one that wrote the wedding date. Is that correct? I have not read. That's book number four. This is not the book I was thinking of. The wedding date. Oh, but I always see that on um, book outlet. Royal wedding or royal holiday is book four of that. Maybe I'll think. I only have Throne of Glass. Throne of Glass is good, but you have to get through like the first two, which aren't bad. Yeah, I didn't. I was really started to get invested in book number three, three. when we meet a certain character. I just hate Sarah J. Mass formula when it comes to guys you first meet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. It's like, it's like, that's why I'm so worried about her new series because I'm just like, I love Hunt. So I'm just like, mm. <laughs> like, be different in this one. <laughs> I know. I see that hate argument that you have to oh, get through yeah. a trash book to get to the good stuff. I wouldn't say Akatar is trash, though. Yeah. I didn't say that. It's more that I just don't like the main, main I prefer, character in that one. I prefer after book, having I prefer book, book number two. But you don't you don't start hating book number one until you read book number two because you don't yeah. know that Tamlin is trash until book Accurate. number Accurate. So <laughs> that I will agree with, yeah. I see so many YouTubers reading massive fantasy books, and all I have I read have not been. I'm not oh. loved, so I'm scared to try the popular ones. Got it, got it, got it. Uh-oh. Read as a standalone. Okay. Oh, you so can't read four. I can't read it as long. Okay, I could do got that, it. Nicole. You might have to read all four. <laughs> yep, I'm. You don't have to like anything mm. you don't like. That's true. Like if you tried it and you don't like it, like you trust your gut. Like don't try to read what just what is popular because that's what everybody is reading. Like mm-hmm. if you know you're not going to like it. Just don't just read I what wonder, you, know what you like. Would she like the I Mistborn want. trilogy? I don't know. Maybe. I mean, if you don't, um, I Brandon Sanderson. I know that one's kind of bigger, but that's not like yeah, massive. yeah. If you don't, if you, if you don't read a like, synopsis, and then if you hate it, then just don't read it. That's why it's like if he's like reading massive fantasy books. Um, I Mistborn is kind of like large, so I probably wouldn't. I wouldn't recommend that to Bianca. If she, really. I feel like that book was shorter. Maybe I'm thinking it's been a while since I've read it, though. It's still on the larger side. Okay. I wonder if we're going to get an Asriel story, because obviously we're getting Cassian mm. and Nesta. He was, he was the beast. He was the beast. Oops, I skipped. <laughs> I have Way of Kings, and I'm scared. Um, I prefer Mistborn over the Stormlar- Stormlight archives, and I know I'm in the minority for that, but it's totally fine. <laughs> I found my people. Nice. Yes, <laughs> I, I, I mean, like that one. I loved, I loved Mistborn, but like, it's if you don't enjoy fantasy, you probably, I'm, I'm sorry to say, you probably won't enjoy it. Mm. <clears throat> okay. It's always nice when you find your people. It is. It is. On the flip side, fantasy and YA focused channels tend to be bigger. That's true because true. that's what everybody's reading. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. us in the romance community are like we don't grow as fast because we're not reading what all the people true. are reading true true i don't mind massive fantasy i'm just afraid um, of because then like yeah because if you read it height. and then it's a very large book so it's going to take you some time and then if you don't like it you're like okay well i wasted all that time on yeah. you know get it as an audio book and then miss born is high fantasy yes yeah you're correct that is honestly true. popular book get more yeah. truth true statement yeah if i did a sarah j mass video people would immediately watch it for sure especially 
especially if you like put rant in the title because people love salty and ranty videos. <laughs> they love yeah. they love reading they love watching the popular book videos and they love ranty and salty videos. Those are like the two videos I get the most views. Mm. Too late. I paid for my god. I am no. <laughs> Ever, I no, mean, you I, might. Hopefully. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, I like Miss More Miss Born more than I like Stormlight, but I do like Stormlight. I just feel like Stormlight just drug on for way too long. Like those books are much longer than Miss Born. Mm. So if so, like read Stormlight. Stormlight. I can't even talk. Freak. I read Stormlight. Or, all by the side Nicole. <laughs> before you read Mistborn, so that way you go from like the not so good to the epic one, and then mm. it's like a thousand times better. Okay. You should try City. City I love City of Brass. I, I'm currently reading the second book, Kingdom of Copper, oh. and I really, really enjoy it. Really. This is how <laughs> I found BookTube fantasy. Uh, Took yeah. me some digging to find other BookTubers other than one. Yeah. And if you start liking some of the videos from the ones that aren't YA and fantasy, I feel like it'll kind of bring some of those other topics to the top. I could be wrong on that, but I feel like that's... Yeah, the YouTube algorithm, if you start watching more, like, other stuff and liking and commenting on those other types of videos other than the YA fantasy, hopefully the algorithm will work in your favor and start recommending mm -hmm. you some of not the other type of videos. <laughs> Is that a romance fantasy one? Uh, sit for City of Brass. No, yeah. it's uh, it's it's kind of. I mean, there, um, there is kind of. <laughs> sorry. Come on, Nicole, pull there, it together. <laughs> there is kind of a romance, but it's not like romance genre fantasy. That's total. That it's something. It's just fantasy. Yeah, <laughs> I like giggly and Guinness videos. <laughs> yep. You mean Jen Jen on a regular basis? It is light on the fantasy, but easy to get into. Mm -hmm. I finished the trilogy and I oh no. oh no oh my god okay I'm hyper are hyper you hyper. an easy crier though that if might almost Charles, make a difference if know. Charles cried I know I'm gonna cry oh okay you don't have a soul so you're not gonna cry it's fine unless <laughs> the cat died okay then unless I'll cry there's a cat. <laughs> unless there's some kind of animal that died I don't know what it is like I it's I mean I cried in Fault in Our Stars I mean I read through a waterfall waterfall of tears for the last 60 pages which like broke yeah, my soul was. I didn't know that that was possible yeah that was rough yeah but some fantasy is dry as well Wheel of Time oh no you didn't for your if you're getting into fantasy you're not do not start with Wheel of Time don't do you will one. don't don't do it later if you decide that you like it maybe yeah I find watching readathon TBRs is a good way to find new to me booktubers. I like watching TBR videos. However, give me some fantasy romance. I'm okay with that. Okay. Um, hold Literally on. Literally your entire wall. I know. <laughs> I just turn. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Start writing down titles, guys. <laughs> no. So, hold on. I'll just put them in the comments. Gathering of Dragons series by Milla Vane is one uh, fantasy romance. That's so really good. Oh, the um, okay. Sorry, Jen, don't be coming for me. I didn't mean to. I just, I was more trying to figure out, like, would it make Nicole cry? It's just, Shh. yeah. <laughs> the one book that makes me cry every time is The Help. Oh, God. I, I still haven't read that book. I just know, like, when I know a book is going to, um, like, really, like, hit me, like, especially, like, like I was saying earlier with the Kristen Hanna books, like, I know every time I read a Kristen Hanna book, I'm going to cry. So I have to be in the mood to want to cry. So if I know a book is going to make me cry, I tend to not read that. Unless if you're feeling it. So Gathering of Dragon series by Milla Vane is really, is a really good um, fantasy romance. I think I got that book there. Yes, Promise of Fire by Amanda Boucher is a great fantasy book. Yes. That's also, I read all three of those books, five stars for all for all of them. Yes. Yes, that's how you correct the per spelling Last correction. Name. Spelling correction. <laughs> the Serpent King broke my heart. I have to write this book. I think I have it. Serpent. King. Why does that sound so familiar? The Great Alone. Mm. I haven't read The Great Alone yet. I've read um, The Nightingale. I've read Night Road. And I've read oh, I'm not Firefly. Book. 
Firefly <laughs> Lane. Those are the three books that I read by Kristen Hanna, and I cried every single one. Is this the Serpentine, the one that you're talking about? I'm assuming so, but I just I we still, don't know the author. I still <laughs> haven't found a samurai, samurai vampire, vampire romance book. <laughs> I'm Nicole, start I'm, writing. <laughs> Does it exist? Google this? Especially for a fantasy reader. Yeah, those two series uh, are really, really, really good. Yes, we need a samurai vampire romance. It's in high demand. I'm surprised there's not more. <laughs> the Great Alone is not for the faint of heart. It features graphic domestic violence. Oh, God damn it. Okay, uh, I don't know anything about this, but I typed samurai vampire romance into the Google. And the first thing that came up was vampire samurai, which is a <laughs> paranormal college romance. I'm not sure anything about college? this. Let's bring it up. Bring it up, John. Bring it up. It looks like that's the only one. <laughs> Maybe because it, it satisfies vampire and samurai, but let's see. Vampire. The Serpent King unexpectedly hits you in the gut. Okay, prepare yourself. Prepare. There it is, gut. book one by Kalen Gal. Gut punch. Is this book... On it Kindle gets three point seven stars out of twenty three ratings, which makes me really? super nervous. It was <laughs> actually just written August eighteenth of twenty twenty. Bianca, oh, yeah. did you check out the Chicago Land Vampires? Ooh. Someone tweeted out to an author. <laughs> Dar uh, Darius the Great is not okay. Made me cry. It's a beautiful scene between father and son. Okay, Darius the Great. Oh, let me write that down. The great is not okay. Yeah, I don't know. That's the only one that work, pops up. Have to work early tomorrow, so I'm going to say goodnight. Good night, Christine. Hi, Christine. Thanks for hanging out with us. She said, I don't know about college. <laughs> yeah, that's why I was like, I hesitated, but it's the only thing that it popped has up. 23 ratings on <laughs> Yeah, is it is it free on Kindle Unlimited? That's the only re that's the only way I'm reading that book. I don't know. <clears throat> and yeah. honestly, like it's the only thing that pops up when I'm searching here. So I'm sorry I failed you guys. She said I saw that one. Jen and reviews in college premise had me worried. Yeah, yeah. Serpent King is a contemporary, but for a beloved fantasy reader, a certain part hits you hard. Oh, okay. I'm scared now. I'm scared. scared. Yep, yep, yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Could be, it could be a hit. I mean, it could be. It, possibly, right. but out of the, the 23 optimism. reviews, like the 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, they all had a rating on to it. So there was an all, all had a rating on it. Oh, God. Not all of them were five stars. Well, that's like every book. I know, but this one, like, because there's so few and the fact that there's enough to give, like, one, two, and three, like, enough space makes What is nervous. this book called? What is this book called? Vam Vampire Samurai. <laughs> Vampire. It is free on Kindle Unlimited, according to Bianca. I trust right. Bianca. <laughs> Vampire Samurai. Oh, and it's book one. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. How many pages is this? Oh, I don't know. That, I didn't look up that much. You have to tell me that one. Okay, I'm going to read it. <laughs> tell us any goat. How many pages is it? 213. Okay, that's not terrible. Thanks, not Nicole. Not terrible, not terrible. So I'll read it and let you know. <laughs> if it's free, honestly, I have nothing but time to waste in that. <laughs> if it's free. <laughs> true, true, true. It is on Kindle Unlimited. I will read it and report back. <laughs> By next week. <laughs> You're like, ah, it seems like a lot. <laughs> I'll take one. I'll take one for the team. I'll take one for the team, Bianca. I'll see if it actually will fit one of these prompts. So. Oh, there you go. That's too long. What 241. That's too long. Charles likes to read books that are 30 minutes long so he can just. That's how he reads 600, 700, 700 books. 
I'm going to give it a go too. Yeah, I love it. Why do you read it together? I mean, it could. I just looked quickly. I just looked quickly at it. It could be 241. My dyslexia was probably like. <laughs> but, okay, Charles, I'm confused because you send pictures on, you post pictures, I should say, to Instagram all the time. And they, they look like meaty books. Like they look like they, not like meaty, meaty, but they've got like two, 300 pages. So I'm, are you talking about like physically reading? Or are you talking about audiobooks? Now I'm confused. It's the length is 231 pages. 31. Okay. So we were both wrong, Bianca. <laughs> yeah, I would think maybe so. I can put it on a paranormal romance. Would that work? Yes, it is a paranormal romance. Yes, you can do it. Ottawa. Just Chicago Land uh, Vampire Series. By I had the first book in that series, and I remember reading the first book two years ago, and I think I gave it three stars. Mm. I don't remember what that book is about, though. So Physically reading. Okay. I understand. <laughs> it's like we were both wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I feel like, yeah. <laughs> He's saying, saying physically reading. Yeah, I struggle to read. When they get too long, it's just, uh, I feel like, yeah, they take a time. They take time. We can't read the irony. <laughs> oh. Okay, Bye, folks, Shannon. it's been a long day. Bye, Shannon. I'm going to tag out. <laughs> <laughs> see you next week. Pulp we will see you next week. Same time, 6 p.m. Arizona time, Pacific time. 9 p.m. However, that works for you. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't That's going to change soon. I was like, I don't know what your time zone is, Shannon. Yeah, when the time, uh, when the time zone, or when the time zones, uh, when the daylight saving time, I don't, does it end or is it starting? I honestly don't. I, don't I think know. it ends. So then it's, it's November 1st, so whatever. So November is November daylight 1st. savings time ending or is it starting? I don't know. I've never figured that out. Let me Something's know. Something's happening with it. November 1st. It'll you should make a video where you pick someone else's TBR and you can pick my paranormal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, it's still, it'll be, um, we will change from Pacific time to Mountain Standard time. But Pacific time will just be 7 p.m. So instead of saying 6 p.m. Pacific time, we'll say 7 p.m. Pacific time because that'll be the same. No, thing. I won't. No, um, it'll be 5 p.m. <laughs> oh, hold on. Yeah, you don't know. <laughs> yeah, we'll be changing. Um, I fall our behind us. We'll be changing to Mountain Standard Time. And then it'll be, it's November 1st. November 1st. Yeah. Yep, that's a Sunday. It'll it be, ends. It, it ends, ends November, November 1st. 1st. So it'll be okay. 5 p.m. Pacific Time. And then for East Coast, it should be, instead of 7. 9, it'll be 8 p.m. Or 8. It'll be 8, yes. 8 p.m. Eastern Time. When the time. We stay the same, but everything else. It ends. Okay. Daylight the standard. Book? This is the next book. Come on, Charles. We're in a series. Oh, Shannon, Shannon just put this lovely comment up on here. <laughs> Are you guys in a time zone that doesn't change? Yes. Yes. We, uh, Arizona does not observe daylight savings time. Yeah. So, but my work still does, so I hate it. <laughs> Bianca, hit. Hit Charles up. Insta. I was like, what is HMU? There are so many things I don't know. Hit me up. Got it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, I have to read them and give you an update. Do it. Do it. So, yeah, this is next week. Apple Cider Shop. Goodness. Pulp Friction. Oh, it's over there. Dang. This one right here? This one that I just held up in front of you? Is that what yeah, you're looking for? No. I'm what are you looking for? for? I'm confused now. What Stop. do you want from me? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, November first, it will be Mountain Time. Noted. Yeah. Yes, it'll be Mountain Time. We'll no longer be. We'll have to let you guys know next week because next week will be our last Pacific Time. What is him? Um, hit me up. H M U is hit me up. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Please explain again what time. So for eleven start. three for yes. us in Arizona, it's it very will still confusing. Be I know. Six p.m. Arizona time. For Pacific time, it will be 5 p.m. Pacific time. And for the East Coast, it will be 8 p.m. Mm -hmm. Eastern time. Eastern. And then for mountain time, if you're in one of those mountain areas, you'll be 6 p.m. with us as well. Yeah. I hope that helped. <laughs> we'll have to update <laughs> okay. our Facebook because I don't think up. I did that right. Actually, I don't put think I put Eastern time. I just kept it with easy time. <laughs> yeah, for She's our... 
Yes. Mountain time. Eastern time. It's in the description. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> oh, um, For central. Oh, dang. Central, I would think, would be seven. Bianca, if you're in central time, what time is it for you right now? <laughs> I think they're two hours ahead of us in central time. So it's so they're technically 10 o'clock. They're what? 10 o'clock right now. If they're 10 o'clock right now, then it would be. Okay. So 4 p.m. Then it PM would be 7. 4 p.m. 4 p.m. Where? Oh, you're in Alaska, right? Oh, God. <laughs> I've just ruined everybody's life. I'm so sorry. <laughs> His bedtime is 7.30. Okay. Dang. I was like, so, I, yeah. I'm, well, we could push it a half hour. It's, yeah. So, the, it's, nine right now. So, that'd be 10. seven o'clock. Correct. Yep. You're right. We didn't um, think of central time. I'm sorry, Bianca. That's our bad. We have failed you. Please don't leave us. Technically, our time is not changing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. That's so fucked up. I'm I was sorry. Just like, uh, Thank you, old man. <laughs> I need someone to hold my hand <laughs> for the longest time. Nicole. Oh my gosh. And you were right. Cause you, okay. I when you Googled right. it, it was, it did tell you that, but you didn't believe me. She was just adamant. I was like, mm, I can't make it once y'all change. Oh no. You could always come late. Yeah. I come late. It's totally fine. Well, we're we sitting here two here hours. Two hours. So, I mean, you can always join us after an hour. We can always reach, re chat about things. Leave us on in the background. <laughs> we'll put your kids to sleep. We can. No, we can't. We can't say. It. I was like, we can sing lullabies, but I was like, you don't want to hear that. You from don't. Me. <laughs> you don't want to hear that. I hate the I hate time the change. change too. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, I hate time zones. That's why I make notes. Yeah. 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 Honestly, like, I'm very sad. Yeah. Well, and we might ultimately have to change depending because I actually my work schedule may end up changing. I don't it should be, be late. <laughs> um we'll know more in like mid November and we'll let you know. Um I did talk to my boss though so we should be fine through the end of this year but next year we might have to get creative. Yeah we'll be here late. Mm -hmm. You know we're always here. Okay, oh, really tagging out now. Book. Thanks so much. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> we could get a kid's book to read. We could. <laughs> so start like the first half hour. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's so funny. Oh, good times. <laughs> yeah, so if, um, like, if Jen's work schedule changes, we're going to be. We'll have to get creative. I'll let you know. Awesome. Hopefully, hopefully my work likes me enough to give me a decent schedule. <laughs> Yeah, because that would suck. I mean, I've worked there for five years, and I don't know how they're doing this shift. Really, so it'll be weird. Honestly, for reals, there's no 100%. <laughs> change of time or time for it. Oh, which is, you know, we do just fine here in Arizona. <laughs> true. This is true. <laughs> it just might be dark at some points. Yeah. It might I just be light. Wake up, I wake up in the morning, and it's dark now. I just, it's honestly, it's fine. That's it. <laughs> Fine. You're fine. And I know they say no. they, they do it for like extended hours of daylight, but I'm like, the number of hours that it's daylight is the same. So why are you making me change my day? So I get up in the dark. Fine. Whatever. I get, I get up. I'm working anyways. What's the point of changing the time? I'm already at work. Yeah, it's so. really, I don't know who invented that, but. I'd like them to answer for what they've done to all what of they, us. They need to answer for what they've done. <laughs> okay, Charles, I hit you up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Just make it darker yeah. earlier. It's like, I, yeah. it doesn't make sense. Is that to a me. thing? It is a thing now, Bianca. It has to be. <laughs> For farms and trains. Oh. Can they yeah. be on their own time zone? That's really terrible. I'm sorry. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> I Why take does the back? entire world have to do <laughs> Yes. <laughs> it's just I because I work until seven on the days that I work and when the time shift changes I work until eight and the difference between seven and eight is literally life and death. That's 
it seems extreme, it's but it's so a much lot. time. It's so well, because I have to eat when I get off of work because you don't have dinner. Like, I don't want to scarf on my last 15-minute break because that's not good digestion. But then if I eat late, then I stay up late. But then the problem is, is I wake up early regardless of anything. So it's just like it messes with my sleep schedule. So I'd appreciate that to stop. But honestly, like, you have four, you have three days off. So. Yeah, I know. But they want me to change, so they're going to have my Friday where I get off at 8, but then they want to keep my Saturday where I come in at 7.30, and I'm like, I don't even have 12 hours before my next shift. Like, isn't there, like, a labor law against this? What's happening here? <laughs> isn't there a labor <laughs> Oh. It's only for a is... month, though, so I'll survive. Yeah. It's, I don't like it. Me either. <laughs> I get off at 3.30 every day, so. A.M.? That's a lie. I said I get off at 3.30 every day. Oh, you day. get off at 3.30. I thought you said you got up at 3 a.m. And I'm like, no, you do not. Like, that, that's a no. straight up lie. <laughs> it I makes me feel I better. 3 p.m. off work. Got it. <laughs> 8 p.m. is See? exhausting. Yeah, it is. I go into work mm. in the dark and then leave in the dark. That's yeah, insane. you're it's really dark all the time. Mm-hmm. Except not oh, working out. Oh, no. No, they didn't do the um, work from home. Can't work from home. So what do y'all do for work? Jen, Jen, I'll let you go first. Call center for um, insurance. Don't ever get a call center job. People are awful. <laughs> if you ever have to call your insurance company, please don't yell at them. Because that does not make them want to help you. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Jen, ready to call you? She's always trying to call me out. But then I'm just like, actually, this is what I said if you were listening and not trying to interrupt I, me. You said 3 p.m. like very slow. And because we were talking about I didn't like, even what time say 3 p.m. I said 3.30. <laughs> 3.30. Okay, whatever. So 3.30. You didn't say that. I didn't hear you get off. But we were talking about like what time we wake up. So I was like, 3.30? No. No. Jen's trying, to, Jen's trying to backpedal. <laughs> oh, a substitute. No substitute oh, there aren't. needed. Oh. Yeah, it's like, well, that's that makes sense because if they're, you know, doing like the homeschooling stuff. Oh, that yeah. sucks. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I have one, Jen. <laughs> that's going to be so, a requirement for any child to ever have is they have to have at least a year experience in customer service so they know how to treat people. I'm a domestic engineer. Ah, that's the best way to put that. <laughs> I love that. That's so funny. So, Nicole, what do you do? <laughs> <laughs> I work in administration and outpatient radiology. Just means that if you come in to outpatient, just means you're not in the hospital. So, if you go in and you need an x ray or a CT scan or an ultrasound or an MRI, I'm usually the first person you see. And uh, dealing with insurance and registration. And I basically do everything except for take pictures. And so <laughs> that is what I do. <laughs> I'd love to get paid to read or watch movies. That would be my end game. <laughs> or take yes. pictures, although I don't feel like I'm, like, the best at it. You take great pictures. I don't know if I can make a profession out of it, though. You could have. You could. You could. My my husband was calling me, so I need to see what he wants. Be like, <gasps> sir, we're in the middle of a live stream. <laughs> I mean, you could call him. No, I'm not going to call him. Or not call him, but pick up the call. I was like, I'm not gonna call what him. do you want? He <laughs> said I'm changing my status to domestic engineer. That is the best. <laughs> yes, I love it. Still in the live. What's up? I hate that What's Siri what? What? changes live to love, and I'm like, oh, oh the just texting <laughs> 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 you. That's so funny. Okay, thanks, babe. Are you picking up dinner? <laughs> this is my husband, by the way. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, we're a, a wide ranging group. We yes, are. we are. But Bianca, also she been a tech it. for optometrist office. Yeah. That's awesome. Domestic engineers are the best. 
Yep, yep, yep. I had to revamp my resume. That is the <laughs> best. That is awesome. You always have to reword basically what you do. Oh, he's not picking oh, up yeah, dinner. He's not picking up dinner? Why not? Did you eat already? That's rude. <laughs> I always message you. It's because I didn't answer his phone call. <laughs> <laughs> he knew that we were on here, though. <laughs> I, he did. As soon as I didn't answer. He's like, there's so And I gave, him, I gave him a hard time for not answering my phone call yesterday. <laughs> so. so he's getting brownie points right now. <laughs> <laughs> you should, honey, you should pick up dinner. This thing. <laughs> I feel like everyone in our buddy read book club thinks that you should think <laughs> at least dinner. he knows how to contact him. <laughs> this is true. This is true. <laughs> uh, he's probably like, y'all still talking about books? <laughs> I mean, we could do this for hours. Let's just be real. <laughs> that is so funny. I'm going to text him and be like, pick up a Big Mac. <laughs> Ooh, Big Mac sounds good. Yep, yep. I had a burger for yeah. lunch today. It was not a Big Mac. But it was a green chili burger, which was delicious. Ooh, I had pizza for lunch. Oh, yeah. Nice. All right, y'all. I think we're going to call tonight. <laughs> <laughs> we're just now, now we're just spiraling. <laughs> we're spiraling at this point. Is <laughs> 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 Next week. Uh, next week. Pulp oh, Friction. Friction. 6 p.m. Pacific time. 9 p.m. Eastern time. 8 p.m. Central Time. <laughs> Here. We'll see ya. We'll see ya. All right, everybody. Have a Have wonderful a good night.